Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, today is a new day and we pray that this day will bring more people to the truth and the truth will set you free, as our Lord he said. Um, I noticed that my last video two days ago made a lot of Muslims upset, very upset, extremely upset. And upset is a good sign. You know, when I studied the English first time in my life, I found English sometimes funny. Upset. <laughs> what? I mean, what the connection with somebody is not feeling good to be called upset. Mm -hmm. And later, I've been taught by a friend who is an English teacher that upset is coming from the word, from the cowboy actually, when they jump in the horse. And the horse is wild, so when they go up and set, you go crazy. Uh, and sometimes I feel like the Muslim is the same as somebody. He thinks he's a wild horse, but the fact he's not horse at all. In the same time, he gets upset from doing what the cowboy do. If you do not know answers, if you have a very funny cult, if your Quran is a, is a chain of contradiction, if your Quran cannot stand a question, don't be upset from me. Be upset from your Allah, who does not exist. Now, already somebody said in the text that, no, Allah is Lucifer. <clears throat> I don't think even Allah is Lucifer, my friend, because, you see, Lucifer is a smart creature. Allah cannot even fit to be smart. To be qualified to be even i mean uh, you see uh, people they create cults and they use them you know what i mean the problem is not the name the problem what if somebody he come to us like you know jehovah's witnesses or uh, mormon they have same names we almost we use but still their cult is a cult so it's not the name the problem allah which muslims they worship as a god is not exist and he is not even the devil the devil is a lot smarter i never saw a dumb stupid teaching as it's written in the quran and yet they claim that this is god today we are here to prove that if you are a muslim and muslim only our skype is open and we take calls only from muslims especially if you are a person who claim to be a scholar and you notice that uh, debating with the scholars or let us say sheikhs is very easy debating with kids mm, because he's a kid you know he can lie he can say whatever he want uh, uh, a sheikh who is responsible and uh, let us say he have reputation he will do his best uh, not to open his mouth before he count his words carefully otherwise he might lose his job you know what i mean so being being not a sheikh, uh, give you a space of lying and fabricating and give us like throw answers at us like just to lie, you know. Uh, but when you debate with someone, he's supposedly a sheikh. You will see how easy it is to conquer Islam and to to prove it to be false and stupid religion. Uh, and this is what happened two days ago. And that's what happened when I debated uh, the Sheikh of uh, Hisham al Husseini, which he have five interviews with Fox News. They could not corner him, but I made him. I put all his laundry on, you know, wide open for everybody to see. Same what happened with Dr. Rohi. Same what happened with Dr. Baikli. Uh, all of them. The, the lower the person in education, the harder it is. To debate with the person because you do not know what to say with an ignorant you know what I mean it's like debating with the mule and the mule you ask him uh, hey are you and then he say after talking to him for two hours you say to you he said to you are you talking to me so this is why we welcome those who claim to have knowledge and they have a title to debate us Muslim kids they play games they never answer a question and they call all names. I talk too much. I never saw someone talk too much, say nothing, as your God. As long you spoke about talking too much, as long you are a Muslim, what about you answer this? 
<laughs> you just remind me of something you see I say to Muslims always when you talk to Christian Prince anything you say to him is going to be used against you according to your God if the ocean was if the ocean was uh, ink is not going the ocean the ocean water which is ink will finish before Allah finished talking so you tell me what's going on and this is why I say that Islam is a stupid religion chapter 18 verse number 109 you see they try to insult me and this is the problem I beat them with their own books and now you tell me who is the one who talked too much but he say nothing did you hear him do we hear Allah talking so the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad is the last messenger but Allah is talking now so what is his messages is going any Muslim as long you Muslim saying to me you are talking too much Allah is talking okay talking to who either this is was a lie or this is a true is it a lie what do you think Muslims Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? Allah is talking right now, but you Muslims, you claim that Allah is the last, that Muhammad is the last messenger. What the point of saying? Etc. I mean, there's no point of it. Say, if the ocean were link to write with the words of my Lord, sooner would be the ocean exhausted and then the word of my lord you know will not be exhausted this is what this mean <laughs> okay so how the whole quran we can print it in less than one ounce of uh, of ink hmm? where is the allah is talking talking to who Any Abdul? This is by itself is a contradiction, because first of all, God don't say and speak in vain, which mean he, you know, his words is priceless and he don't say them for no reason. That would be stupid. It's like <laughs> secondly, what is the point of this verse? When you are going to give them Quran limited with pages and you are saying that he is the last messenger which means after that there's no more words number three isn't it the Quran says that Allah words is written in a tablet so that means it's limited it's not in this as long you have it already written in tablet so why Allah is going to say his words again all the words of Allah is written in a tablet and I find that very funny because look like the words of Allah is written before he speak it according to Muhammad Allah he created a pen the first thing he created he created a pen and he said to the pen write you believe it And the pen start writing. <clears throat> Let us see. Here we go. 
I arrived to Mecca and met etc. and blah 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 blah. Okay, and met like okay. okay. My father narrated to me. He said, I heard the message of Allah saying, Verily, the first what Allah created was a pen. And he said to it, Write. So it wrote, What will be forever? <laughs> so look at the contradiction. We have Allah talking, the words of Allah, nothing can write it down. The ocean will be exhausted before. The word of Allah is the end, but the tablet is exactly the Quran. The tablet of Allah is the is the Quran. It's a small, yeah, in the size it's big, according to uh, to Muhammad. Like Allah, he put the tablet between the eyes of an angel. His name is Israfil. And uh, Israfil, why he put it between the angels, between the eyes of Israfil? Anyone knows? Who knows why? Let us see who of you is studying his homework. Who remember? Why Allah he put his tablet between the eyes of angel, his name is Israfil. Because Allah he don't want the angel to see it, otherwise he will have a cross eyes. Mm-hmm. I mean, have you ever heard of a silly stories? It's fiction, stupidity. Even kids will not believe in this. So, you know me, I like art. You know me, I'm an artist by birth. Uh, Picasso used to learn from me how to draw. So, if we say, true story, by the way, when I say Picasso, he learned from me. That is true story. So, if we say, That this is Mr. The Angel Israfil. Okay. I mean, look amazing how good I am in drawing. And this is his eyes. Oh boy. So Allah, He put the tablet here. How in the world is Rafil he can read it? Nobody can think about that save Allah. That is one of the miracles of Allah. If Israfil now he try to look at the tablet, he will go cross eyes. Mm. True story. If there is any Muslim saying I am lying, please give me a call and I will show you the reference. I'm really convinced that Allah is real and this is a true story. Hey, by the way, Allah, what about the angels, the other angels who they can see the face of Israfil? Okay, Israfil, he cannot see it, no problem. But what about the rest? Do you know what I mean? I mean, what is the point of this strategy? If the other angels, they can walk in the front of Israfil and they can read everything there. Oh boy. Very convincing. And you are telling me that Allah is not exist. Tons of stories, fabrication, madness, stupidity. God, he created the pen. And he told the pen, hey, Mr. Pen, start writing. If we ask why, The Muslim will say, Why Allah He created the pen? And He is writing to who? Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, Abdul. Mr. Christian Prince? Yes. 
I am uh, really my name is Abdul Kadir. Okay, I understand. I am very nervous to speak you because I am bro for uh, for long days. I am expecting to speak. I would like to speak. No problem, my friend. You are welcome. I am nervous to speak to me myself. You know. Really, I am nervous to speak. Okay. So, what do you want to say to us, Mr. Abdul Kadir? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, yeah. I yes, yes, yes. So many times I message message to you in uh, Skype. Okay. Do you remember me? Who I am? Uh, you see, for me, forgive me. I have hundreds and thousands of people messaging me. I mean, it's impossible to track. Uh, yes, okay. Let sir. me go it's back. Okay, I will go back in the actually, text and see. Okay. Actually, I would like to say thanks to you because I really was uh, free. Jesus is is a true God. Oh, I mean to that. So, also, so you decide to leave Islam and you accepted the Messiah. Yes, yes, of course, of course. That's wonderful, my yes, friend. Sir. I'm really happy really, for you. Really Glory to the Lord, and may the Lord bless you for, for choosing the right choice. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Really, in the, uh, I accepted uh, Jesus as a true um, God, and also I am trying to convert my families uh, uh, in, uh, in Christian, sir. Please make a prayer for me. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Me and all the Christians, they are listening. They will be praying for you and your family, and may the Lord guide them and put them in the right path, so they can uh, uh, they can see the truth, and the truth will set them free. You know, that's wonderful, my friend. And you know, remember that salvation is not you know now now because you saw the the light. You have a duty to share the light with others, and you start with your family. Absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, but Thank what you, what sir. what made you what uh, made really you? I am very happy. To speak. Yeah, what made you leave Islam, my friend? Yes. Actually, sir, uh, because of don't call me sir. Don't call me. Don't call me sir. I'm no sir, my friend. I'm, I'm a Christian. Just call me Christian. I'm, I'm a, I am your brother in Christ. I'm. I, uh, okay, sir. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, okay, Mr. Uh, CP. Okay. I call you as a CP. Eh? All right. No problem. Uh, actually, uh, I am from India, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, India, brother. Um, in my place, there is there was a, a debate was that with the uh, Muslims and uh, Christians between Christian and Muslims in my own native place in one my native language. Okay. In that uh, debate, I found many thing religion and this, uh, uh, about uh, Muhammad also. He's a uh, very uh, bad person. Mm -hmm. After that, I found uh, in uh, I after that I research in many videos in YouTube. Okay. So in that way, I found uh, to uh, watch uh, David Wood videos. Okay. David Wood uh, messages. All right. From from that way, so recently okay, I found uh, uh, best and best prince of the all Christians world. I found you, Christian Prince. All right, my friend. Um, After that, I watched so many, so many, so many videos. Really, I am very happy to confirm, according to your speech, uh, in the way of uh, speaking, in the way of uh, uh, preaching, in the way of uh, explaining, really, I confirmed and left Islam uh, I'm, so from, uh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you, my friend. And uh, also, yeah. Uh, I'm confirming you. That is the really, the really, I'm telling the truth. Uh, because of the confirmation came, I confirmation came from you only. So many debates uh, I have watched uh, between the Muslims and the uh, Christians. Mm -hmm. But I confirm because uh, so many people are uh, debating. But uh, your the, your the explanation is very different to all Muslim peoples. Those who are really they want to search about uh, God, who, that means who is God means definitely they will leave Islam. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So I am really very happy to speak to you. Uh, <laughs> I cannot say how to say this. <laughs> really, I am. Very very happy to see you because so many days I I try to call you so many times, but I could not able to speak to speak you because you always uh, in the time of uh, early morning 
as, as uh, 3 30 or 4 30 at the indeed time you are debating with someone else so that uh, in that time in that time i could not able to speak because you are a hang of my uh, colleague but, uh, oh, jesus christ uh, in the name of jesus christ and uh, he helped me to uh, speak to you sir uh, i mean to God, my friend I'm really happy for you. I will pray for you and your family. And I ask all yes, the Christians I... to, to pray for this brother here. Sure, sure, sure. You have to pray for my family because I am in a born Muslim. Yeah. And also my in my native, all Muslims are um, dominated. Dominated. I mean, um, all Muslims only dominated in my native place. So I could not be able to say a single word against to Islam. They will kill me. Mm. Well, my friend, if you, if this is will if this is will be disturbing your faith, maybe, um, maybe if it's impossible for you to practice and your life is in risk, you can move mm. to different area. You know, I mean, India is big, right? And you are as a citizen, mm. Indian citizen, you can go and move to a different city and find a job somewhere. And you speak mm -hmm. to them maybe online and try to convince them that this is the truth. You know, just to stay safe and be 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 careful. Yes, sir. yes, yes, my yes, brother. Yes, well, my friend, I'm really happy for you. And uh, look like the Lord He sent you to us today to start our day with with good news. And He is good news. He Himself mm -hmm. is the good news. And tr trust me, you did not make any wrong decision. You made the perfect mm -hmm. one for your life. And I don't know if you feel it. You will feel that you are different. Mm -hmm. You are a different person. You are a new person, and you are not an angry person as before. Uh, me myself, mm -hmm. I get angry. But not with hate, and there's mm -hmm. a huge difference between being angry and being mm -hmm. hateful. You know, I get angry uh, to see sometimes people are ignorant. You know, which means I don't want them yes. to be ignorant, but I don't hate them. In Islam, it makes uh, you the opposite. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, proceed, proceed. Uh, yeah. Go on, go on. So you know, you will you will feel the difference between being yesterday as a Muslim and today as a Christian. And I advise you, if you did not do so yet, to find a church so they can baptize you. Because baptism is very important, you know, you you wash yourself from the previous uh, cult, and at the same time, the Holy Spirit, yep. you know, you you receive the Holy Spirit of of the Lord, and the Holy Spirit will be always mm -hmm. with you. Okay, definitely, I will uh, uh, do baptism. Definitely. Yeah. If you need my help to find a church for you, I will see if I can find something someone in India who can help. India. Oh, uh, India! In, uh, I am uh, living in South India, uh, Chennai. You know. Yeah. I mean, not well, okay. there is many churches. I'm sure you know. Just if you can, you, you can go on a trip to a different city far away from your family, whereas there's Christian churches where nobody knows you. You know, and you can you can do baptism. But it's very important to do baptism, my friend. Definitely, I, after baptism, I will inform you. I will contact you. All right, and don't forget to read the Bible, study it. You know, especially in the especially the New Testament, um, uh -huh. and. Uh, in our belief, uh, uh, questions are welcome. It's not like Islam. Islam forbids questions because Islam cannot stand questions. The Lord, he said, read the books. So it's a duty for us to read the books so we can understand. And you will notice that everything the Lord, he said, even though it's, he said 2,000 years ago, it fit mm -hmm. perfectly with your life today. Even if you read the same passage tomorrow, you will find that this passage is speaking to you differently from the passage, you, the same passage you, you read yesterday. Because mm -hmm. this is the living word of God, and it always speaks to you in the moment. It's a, this is not mm -hmm. this is not an ink. This is not just a word. Yes. This is something speak yes, to your yes. heart and help you in spiritual way, and even to find a solution for things happening around you. Actually, sir. Actually, brother, I I uh, uh, I I'm not. Uh, Convert. I. I. I am not. Uh, I. Uh, uh, came to Christian. I. That means I am not accepted recently. Uh, Christian because uh, I was uh, uh, research in 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 insert uh, internally. In yeah, I understand. You search very well. I understand. You search very well, and that's why you uh, came the decision. Yeah. I actually, know. I. I. I not came immediately to Christian because no, no, no. I'm not. Not. Do, do, don't take me wrong. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Uh, Jesus. I'm saying now me. You see me myself. I still learn. Mm -hmm. I learn still every day when I read the Bible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The Bible is a learning process because this is a living word. It's not. It's not because mm -hmm. the, the 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 book speak to you. The Lord speak to you. 
it's different it's not a Quran mm -hmm. plain somebody trying to make a rub uh, a, a statement uh, this is this uh -huh. is not the this is not the case the case is different here mm -hmm. Every day, I like if I go right now in Matthew, open any chapter. I read the same chapter many, many times. Still, when I uh -huh. read again, I will learn something new. So this is what I'm saying. I'm saying keep reading, uh -huh. keep studying. For this is not a, a dead word. So actually, this is the word uh, what I, what, actually, what I'm trying to say is, uh, suddenly I'm not accepted Jesus. Actually, that is the reason I'm telling you. Actually, I researched only in Islam uh, sex, sex. Mm, sex. Uh, actually, mm. so many uh, sect, so mm. many sects in Islam. So no, but no, no Muslim can mm. jump over is uh, apart from Islam. They won't search anything because they con confidently they are believing Islam is a true religion. Everybody mm. knows. Mm -hmm. might be, is it correct? Yeah. So no Muslims can jump over a uh, sect from uh, another. Uh, they won't accept Jesus because he, he all Muslims Muslims are accepting and uh, believing that uh, Jesus is a prophet. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I am searching from uh, in, internally in Islam. So, uh, first, I went went to uh, you know public. There is one group is public. After that, I went to Sufism. After that, I came to uh, what is uh, Tawhid. This group. Mm. Those who are uh, like that, so I went to so many things. Uh, finally, I found Shia is the best best in Islam. Mm -hmm. Why you know? Because they are. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, this is my ignorant. Mm. So you you, you were you, you were you were Sunni, and then you went to the Sufi, and then you became Shia. Yeah, Shia. Mm. Why I accepted Shia? Um, because the message, you know, uh, the real the, in the final speech of Prophet, he said. Uh, there is uh, I left two things. One is uh, Quran and mm -hmm. uh, Hadith. Right. Then the Sunni is following. And this uh, is the a Hadith of Sakalain. Yeah. Sakalain. Yeah. Ah, Sakalain. Sakalain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then the Shia is what they are saying. They say Muhammad is left two things. One is Quran and Halal Bayt. Mm -hmm. So that is the Hadith is Sahih. Uh, they are uh, they are the Shia. Shia people have proved me this is the hadith only the Shahi. Mm -hmm. So from that onwards, I said research about Shiaism, what is Ali, who is Ali, like that. I went to that. After that, I went to uh, uh, the only Quran. The people, some people are uh, following. You know the Rashad Khalifa. Mm -hmm. uh, Rashad Khalifa. This I I met some. I the God. These the uh, stories happening. Due to the my, my real God Jesus, because uh, He want that I want to know everything. Mm -hmm. So after that, I went to the people who are uh, uh, in the sect of uh, Rashad Khalifa. Only we have to follow only uh, Quran because all the hadiths are uh, from garbage. Mm -hmm. All the hadiths are lying, uh, are uh, fabricated. So that I left all hadith. I have to. I I followed only the Quran. From that onwards, I so many my my wife. I I am I am attached with my family, sir, family brother, yes, my sir. wife and daughter and my brothers. I attach home. May so the Lord I try okay. at least. Uh, I, I at least I I will uh, what I, what are the sex I am following? I will inform. I will uh, try to uh, follow my family. I I tell you, hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, so that in in that way, my daughter and my wife always debating with me, debate with me. Uh, why are you saying Shia yeah, like that, like that, so and so? Finally, I came to Quran. No, they really upset. Why you are telling like this? You are you are not uh, in uh, one sect. You are from uh, from one from one sect to from one sect to another sect. You are jumping every every time. How can we follow you? Like that, he said. Finally, they accept what I am saying, telling, telling to them. In that way, after there is one debate uh, was uh, done in my native place, in my native language, the Christian people are smashed this, this uh, Islamic peoples. They don't know how to answer these uh, to these peoples. Finally, I contact with them. Uh, really amazing debate. How you are taking this debate from this is. Really, explain how you are taking this uh, hadith from uh, uh, Islamic source. Mm -hmm. They are saying uh, we are watching David Wood like that, like that. I had a, I contact, I contact with them. I had a friendship with them, so that they are 
uh, they, they said about Islam, uh, not much like you. They are tell, they, they told uh, about Islam, the, Muhammad is like that, Muhammad is like that, and Quran is, verses is like that. And Har, they said about Harun, Harun is the sister of uh, Mary. That Quran is a corrupted. This is not a corrupt. Uh, this is a. This is not. This uh, Quran verses is not come from uh, God. It is. Uh, it is supposed to be a uh, um, uh, shaitan. Like that, they are. Uh, they told me. Finally, I watched all David Wood videos. In that time, of, uh, recently I uh, I watched uh, hijab. A debate between hijab and David David Wood. You know. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, can you hear me, sir? I do, I do. Go ahead. Uh, for recently, I, I I watched the full video about uh, one debate between his, uh, uh, Muhammad Hijab and uh, David Wood. I watched that full debate. After that, that uh, bloody idiot, he arrogant uh, Hijab. He his uh, his uh, his uh, uh, in the way of talking, in the way of. Uh, Behaving is I really upset because even though uh, even though he is not, he, even though the David Wood is not giving a correct answer or whether he's giving a correct answer or right answer that is next uh, he, he he we have to behave like a man human being he is but he behave like a arrogant he behave like a, a beast from that day uh, onwards. I I searched another video in that in that way only I found your uh, uh, video uh, because you are refuting to that video, no? You, yeah, the, you have, the debate. The debate. Yeah. 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 So let us make it. Let us make it simple. The debate of hijab lead yeah. you to watch my videos, and that made you yeah. leave Islam. Ah, yes, yes, so yes, so yes. we are. Well, I want to say thank you to Muhammad Hijab. Because if not yes, Muhammad yes, Hijab, really, 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 <laughs> really, we have to say that not only so all Muslims, those who are uh, embracing uh, Christians, they have to say thanks to Mr. Hijab, mm -hmm. not Mr. Hijab, the idiot Hijab. He is he the, in that de debate only he is making all Muslims to become a Christians. Yeah, so but those who are really. Uh, those who are watching uh, that debate, those who are really seek to seek a go real God, they will leave Islam. And also, uh, in, and also one thing you know, that explanation about this debate, you are given very well. Uh, yeah. Explanation and uh, that refute. Uh, yeah, really uh, amazing and uh, awesome. So I love you, sir. So many uh, times I have messaged you that I will love you. Right, Hello, thank, you, sir. thank you very much. I apologize if I don't answer because, as you see, I have tons of messages, and uh, many. Their name is Abdul. They text me, and some of them they want to kill me. Some of them they hate me. Some of them they curse me. So <laughs> it's endless. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, yeah. I'm really happy for you. I'm not going to keep you long yeah. with me on air because I have a sheikh. As I receive a text message in Skype, he want to call me. So you feel free okay, to call okay, me I again. Listen. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. I am. I am watching. I am watching. I am watching. Yeah. I am watching on your live. All right. So I want to see what the sheikh he want to say to us. He is a sheikh. He claimed he's a sheikh from New York, from United Kingdom. His name mm -hmm. is Sheikh Muhammad Rahman. He live in United Kingdom, mm -hmm. and he just texted me. Yeah. And as you see here in oh. the Skype, I'm going to share it with everybody. So we will receive a phone okay, call sorry. from him. Yeah, yeah, so. Anyhow, I'm I'm telling the uh, one final uh, requisition. Right. Please yeah. don't forget me. I am going to keep my name, uh, uh, Joel Abraham. Uh, okay, is it okay for you? Uh, I will try to remember. <laughs> I will uh, try to please, remember. Please remember me. Right. I am from, actually, my uh, my native place is Pondicherry State. You know, Pondicherry French Union territory in India. Mm, okay. All right, my friend. May the Lord Don't bless you. Don't forget me. I'm from Pondicherry. Joel Abraham Abdul Qadir as my name. I was Abdul Qadir mm. as jo uh, Joel Abraham. All right, my friend. Don't Joel Abraham. Me. May the Lord bless you and bless your family and welcome to the family and of Christ. Also, I, very, and as I say, very thanks to Lord. I'm say thank you to to you uh, to make a contact and uh, have a, give you a good opportunity to talk with you. Thank, thank you very much, my, my dear brother. I love you so much. Man, thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. I'm honored to speak to you, and I hope uh, soon we will hear from you again. Feel free to call me when you need okay. me. All right. Thank you very okay. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Take care.
All right, guys, we receive a text message and we are happy for our friends here. And as you see, this person, he started watching my videos because of Mimi Hijab. So because of Mimi Hijab debate with David Wood, uh, this person gets so upset and he decided to look and he saw my videos and he started watching them. So because of Mimi Hijab, uh, he left Islam. That's a wonderful job, Hijab. Now we want to hear uh, Sheikh Muhammad. Uh, his name is Sheikh Muhammad Rahman. He lives in the United Kingdom and he said he want to talk to me. I said to him, Welcome, Sheikh. I'm sharing with you the screen, whatever we have in the conversation. And he said to me, um, uh, Take your time, brother. Sound like nice person. No rush. Uh, what do you want to talk about so I can get my resource ready? There's no need to get resource ready for me. Christian Prince is always ready. Let us call you. Hello, brother. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam, Sheikh. How are you? I'm good. Can you hear me? I hear you very well. So uh, I introduced you as Sheikh, as you told me in the text, Sheikh, Sheikh yes. Muhammad Rahman, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, right. Okay, so what are you going to talk about so I can get my resources out? Um, you know, you see our topic is about Islam. So you, you, you are my guest, feel free. How you can, we have like a thousand people watching. How you can prove to me that Allah is exist? You know, like our topic today, I say there is no Allah. Uh, for me, I'm a believer for sure in God, but I don't believe that Allah is exist. So how you can help us to prove that to be exist? Okay, so brother, what is your question? Can you be more explicit? Is Allah is exist? Of course he does. How? Brother, I just want to say one thing, yeah? Hmm. Jesus is Lord and Islam is false. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay, I'm going to block you because you did deceive me. That's not right. So I'm going to block your name. I, I believed you that you are a sheikh, and that was not right. Okay, I don't accept that. Even if you are saying the truth, but we should not lie. Uh, let us see if we have any Muslim. <clears throat> uh, somebody is asking, oh, but, but well, this is an older question. Oh, okay, this is a Muslim guy. Is don't do the what the, what the, this gentleman he did. This is not accepted, and that will block you. Right? Don't do that. That's not right. Okay, there's a guy, his name, awesome dude. Okay. And to be a Muslim. All right. Hello. 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 Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim, right? Yes. All right, you are welcome, and you are live on air. Uh, what do you want to say yeah. to us? Is Allah is exist? Yes. How you can prove that? Um, in the Quran. Okay, help me. How? In chapter two, verse twenty-three, Allah challenges everybody to make one chapter like like it, and no one has ever been able to do it. Mm. So you are saying to me, nobody can play Quran, nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. Yes, no one can. Okay, no so then. Able to. Okay, no problem. You see. 
Um, so how you explain like I found a verse in the Quran it's full of errors and mistakes and you know it's like kind of a crazy so I'm going to play it for you and you tell me why it's full of errors is that okay yes all right let me find it for you <clears throat> 90 percent of this chapter or 95 percent is errors Listen carefully and tell me what do you think. I will play like maybe 30 seconds for you or 40 seconds. All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alif lam ha ya alif ha. قناة الحوار المستقيم ذكري الحكيم بحوار صادق في الصميم يطعن العمم والعمائم والعمين. All right. I heard somebody trying to help you in the background. So, what do you think about this Quran? Uh, it's not. That's not Quran. Yeah, there's a guy. I heard him behind you saying to you, "He is not. This is not Quran." Uh, nobody said that. Mm, I heard it myself. And that's why I said somebody is helping you. Now, let me ask you why it's not Quran. Do you speak Arabic? Yes. Okay. I'm, Sir I'm Syrian. All right. And why this is not Quran? Uh, it's it's not and it's not like it either. It just ran. It just people like the Quran is like spoken very eloquently. Really? That that wasn't eloquent. Hmm. Okay. So you said you are Syrian, correct? Yes. All right. Did your Quran mention your country? Uh, no. Did your Quran mention Palestine? Uh, yes. Where? In chapter 17, verse 1. Chapter 17, verse number 1. That's yes. a good thing. I never heard of this before. I will learn from you. Uh, it talks about Masjid al-Aqsa, which is in Palestine. Really? It says there, yeah. in chapter 17, verse number 1, it says the Masjid al-Aqsa? Yes, it uh, Okay. Yeah. And this is Palestine, supposedly? Uh, it's in Palestine. No, no. It, it says uh, it, it is the journey to the second mosque, the furthest mosque. Yeah. Don't you think this is a mistake? No. Because, <laughs> because it says how, because it says it took it to the house of worship. Okay. You Jerusalem. you claim that you speak Arabic. Do you know what Al-Aqsa mean? No. What do you mean you do not know? You speak Arabic, don't you? Uh, I mean, it's. I just don't know what it means. I know it's the Majid. I okay, mean, can so you read for me? Can you read for me the verse in Arabic? Uh, no, because um, well, hmm. you no. do not know Arabic. I I do know Arabic. No, see, this is the the guy behind you. He is the one who told you he's watching my program before that. What the the Quran I played, this is not Quran, and you don't speak Arabic. So you were going to say yes, it's the Quran, but the guy behind you told you that. And now you said to me, I asked you, do you speak Arabic? You said, yes, I am Syrian. And now you said you don't speak Arabic. So in, in less than three minutes, you, you, you proved to me that you are lying to us, which is not nice. Why you said to me you speak Arabic? I do speak Arabic. No, because I'm better in English. I, I oh, really okay, you speak Arabic. English. Go ahead. Here we go. I, what, I told you a very simple word. What Al-Aqsa mean? You do not know. I mean, it's just one word. Not everybody knows every word. Okay, it doesn't matter. Language. Can you read the verse? No, you cannot read it. What does that mean? My friend, I ask you. Okay, this is a word here. Prove to me that Allah is a false God. Let me tell you what. This is your Muslim translation. It says, the farthest most. Do you know what farthest most mean? Uh, yes. Well, the farthest most. There's no most behind it. That's it. Correct? That's it. I this is the far. Okay, but but uh, but Jerusalem is not even uh, a thousand uh, kilometer from uh, uh, from Mecca. How this can be the farthest mosque? 
uh, because the um the people who the, who did the tafsir right um mm -hmm. they they said that so you are making an assumption the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine they never mentioned the word Syria correct I guess yeah okay so yeah so your answer was a mistaken answer and the Quran here is mistaken because simply it cannot be that the one in Jerusalem the one is talking about because this is must be the farthest mosque and farthest mosque cannot be somewhere it's just a thousand mile away or thousand kilometer away America is father China is father Japan is father Philippine is father so this is silly secondly this chapter you quote for me it's called a chapter of Al-Isra do you know what Isra mean Isra is yes, the, the night the night journey the night journey okay your prophet he went where uh, he went to um in the heavens on on a horse okay this is another another deception the muslims they learn from their scholars where in the verse in front of us it says he went to heaven it's in the uh, it's in the hadith ah in the hadith so and why the, why allah he forgot to mention something very important that allah he took him to heaven but he mentioned that he took him to the farthest mosque because the quran doesn't speak in everything in detail if you want to go to which detail, one is more important friend which one is important a journey to heaven or a journey to a mosque journey to a mosque journey to heaven okay so why he did not mention it it's like saying to you I took you uh, I took you to Japan and we spent there 50 days and then in the way we stop in the gas station so you mentioned to me I took you to the gas station but this is not true the gas station is not important so which one is important you just said it is heaven so how in the world Allah he mentioned everything except what is important in the journey which is going to heaven so there's no proof that Muhammad went to heaven even the Quran is not mentioned it all right, but like I said hmm. in the in the hadith in the hadith it's, it talks no about, problem uh, the hadith the hadith okay so are you saying the hadith is more accurate than the Quran no it just it talks about more stuff it just talks no about my friend it cannot be more stuff because this is very important to mention if the Quran did not mention it it should not be in the hadith because uh, I asked you yourself which one is more important going to the mosque or going to the heaven you said yourself you, you said the heaven yeah so Allah should not drop the heaven from the telling the story. This is very important. He took him to heaven. I mean, what do you want more? But yet it's not mentioned in the story. So this is the fabrication of the Muslims. Secondly, yes. if there is any okay. witnesses for Muhammad going to heaven or going to that mosque? No, no, he told everybody and he was the Sadiq of them. Okay. Everybody believes what he says. Okay. So if he said it, it happened. All right. Is it true that your prophet, he said that he, uh, there was 120,000 prophet waiting for him, 20, 24,000 prophet waiting for him in, in the, in the, guess, in the yeah okay yeah how big is yeah. this mosque the one you are mentioning to me how in the world at that time the whole city of Jerusalem does not even fit for until now she doesn't fit for 124,000 if we want to put them uh, I mean in a, in a square I mean what square is going to fit for 124,000 people to to uh, to pray inside it it's a mosque no because it um mm. which it, like, it has nothing to do with our salvation so that's why it doesn't um like talk uh, talk about stuff we might want to know it but it has nothing to do with our salvation but what, what does have to do with salvation my friend I'm asking you how your prophet he said that he met with 124,000 prophet and every one of them have a flying donkey and why it wasn't why, in Jerusalem. why it, wasn't did, in Jerusalem. it wasn't Jerusalem it wasn't Jerusalem it was where you said you said to me this is Palestine no, I mean, no, no. He met the 124,000 in the Masjid Al-Aqsa, according to your prophet. Actually, no. He said he met them in the seven heavens. Really? Okay. Yes. No. Uh, let me, let me. If, if I show the reference, what you would do? It says even uh, uh, <coughs> your prophet Jibril actually he put his finger in the wall in the in the wall of the Aqsa, and the Muslim they say that the 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 location of the finger is still there. Uh, uh, and he uh, tied the burak, uh, you know, by the wall, and then he entered the mosque, and he, uh, there was waiting for him the Messiah himself. Yeah, this is among the ghayb, it's the unseen. We can't prove or disprove it. It's like angels and demons, so you can't say it's wrong, and you can't say okay, you can't but, prove it's right. Either. Okay, but well, hold on. So 124,000 prophet was waiting for Muhammad and nobody saw them. I mean, isn't it weird? Like I say, there's 124,000 people there and nobody, uh, uh, historian, anyone witness. I mean, no, they, imagine they suddenly. Are invisible. Ah, they, are, they invisible. are invisible. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. That's uh, all right. I was wondering why nobody saw it. So, but it was inv invisible. I mean, now I got the point. So Muhammad himself was invisible too. Uh, when you when you went on the night journey, hmm. yeah, hmm. I guess, yeah.
Okay, the invisible prophet, the in invisible pro uh, 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 God, the invisible uh, heaven, the invisible uh, uh, Aqsa. So, was okay. the was the mosque of Al Aqsa? Was the mosque of Al Aqsa invisible too? Uh, no. Okay, can you read for me in the screen? Do you see the screen? Uh, no, I don't, because I'm talking on the phone. Okay, it says here, I was brought uh, Al Burab, and he was an animal, white and long, longer than a donkey, but smaller than a mule. Your prophet, he used a donkey to fly to heaven. Is that true? Uh, if if he said it, then it's true. Okay. Why he need a donkey? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean. Okay, but he have an nothing, angel with him. Why the angel did not take him? I mean, if the angel uh, and the, uh, uh, and then after they took the donkey, is this donkey he have wings? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yes, maybe. No, no he's a donkey. He don't have wings. He, hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, if it was an angel that took him, then you would have said, why did the angel take him? But if the angel didn't take him, you're going to say, why didn't they? No, angel can go him? to heaven. But the, here, this is a this is a normal donkey, supposedly. It's a mule, actually. As you see, it's a mule. All right? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, if you go here, if we go, uh, uh, if we go in this hadith, yeah, we will see that your prophet he arrived to a place. It's called Al Baytul Ma'mur. Do you know what is that? Yeah, yes, I've, I've heard of it. Mm, what is that, Al Baytul Ma'mur? Um, I, um, I think it was um, I heard it was something that it fall, it might, it will fall on the Kaaba or something like that. It's a Kaaba. It's like the Kaaba, the same as the Kaaba and the the and the ground, right? I think yeah yeah mm. yeah. And what this Kaaba for? Who is doing Hajj there? Um, angels, I think. Mm. So angels, they do Hajj there. Do they have a black stone there? They kiss it too. I don't know. Okay. Maybe, huh? maybe yeah. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Seventy angels they enter this Kaaba every day. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm. And they never come back. Wait, what do you mean? They enter the Kaaba, but they never come back. Uh, I don't know, but okay. look, you're talking all about the angels and stuff. Well, the mm. Bible talks about angels too, so I say that's wrong because yeah, but no, but I'm saying here the story is a is a fiction story. There's no witnesses. I mean, you see, when 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 people they say Jesus, he made the blind see. The blind was there. The people were there, and there's witnesses. Your prophet, he have just fiction stories, no witnesses, and you are the one who said there's no witnesses. Nobody saw it. Even even his wife, she said, you know, he he he, you know. Uh, the prophet he was not he did not go by his body. It was a spiritual. It was a dream yeah. So Muslims they, they they fabricate lies that Muhammad he went to the seven heavens, but the fact it's not not true uh, There's no proof of it. So Islam is based on fictions if the wife of Muhammad herself She said that Muhammad did not go What about the rest? How you uh, Muslims you say? Uh, I don't know Okay. Well, you well, just because it doesn't have witnesses doesn't mean it's not true. Okay, when Adam and Eve, do you have any witnesses for that? Story? Adam and Eve themselves, they were witnesses. You see, at least Adam, there's two people at least. You know, uh, uh, but Muhammad, he have nobody. I mean, all all his stories, there's nobody. Angel, he came to him. There's nobody. The the problem when he went on the Surah and Mi'raj, um, the prophets were hmm. his witnesses. What prophet? How Muhammad he says there's prophet, and yet he said he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. Uh, no, yeah, that's on the day of judgment with the prophets. I know, but they are dead, supposedly. They are dead. Muhammad, as you see here, he caught all the names. Musa is there, Jesus is there. I understand Jesus is there because Muslims believe that he is alive now. But what, what Musa is doing there, what Abraham is doing there, according to Muhammad, he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. So, how all the prophets are in heaven already? Obviously, this is a lie because either they are dead or alive. And according to Muhammad, they are all dead, and he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. So Muhammad conducted himself. Yeah. Now we go okay, back to he, we, he's a fallible being. He's a fallible being. Oh, so he you're saying here he made a mistake. Here he he was lying, and we, we have to let it go. Uh, he didn't lie. He just he just an, a mistake. And ah, it's a mistake. I see. Okay. What about your God? Do God, you do your God make mistakes? No. Okay. Can you name for me something? Prove to me that Allah don't make mistakes in the Quran. In chapter 4, verse 82, Allah says He doesn't make mistakes. In chapter 4, verse number 82? Yes. Okay. Well, isn't it the same chapter says, beat your wives? 
Don't you think this is a mistake to uh, teach people to beat your wives? No, when it no when it says beat your wives, um, mm. it does um, uh, you you misunderstood the misunderstood the um, the verse. Really? How come? Explain to me. I'm listening. Um, it doesn't it doesn't say you should just go like beat your wives and stuff. It just mm. it means it says mm. women should just listen to their husbands. Mm -hmm. And okay, if she don't listen, what we do? We beat her. Okay, but sorry, but okay, but that's I don't I don't see anything wrong with it. Mm, that's so you believe that this is a this is a good teaching that uh, God he teaches man to beat his wife. Do you do your dad beat your mom? No. What if your dad he beat your mom? With my respect to her, I don't mean to insult. I'm just having a conversation with you. What do you think if you see your God, your your sorry your dad, beating your mother? What do you feel about it? Yeah, I wouldn't. I would feel bad, but but alright, but my um. Most Muslim women, they 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 live happy, and there's that in the Muslim country, Muslim world, there hmm. it's the least divorce rate and and stuff really? like that. So I never, uh, this is not true. The, the all Muslim women are divorced. What are you talking about? I never saw Muslim women are not divorced yet. They divorce How within a few years. About? Let me let me show you. Are you saying Aisha is a liar? No. Okay, Aisha, she said the most suffering women is the Muslim women. So either you are telling the truth or Aisha is lying. Here we go. You see, I uh, actually saying, I have not seen a woman suffering as much as a believing woman. And why? Because yeah. here she is talking about the husband is beating his wife. And as you see here, the wife, the same story we are talking about, a woman, her husband divorced her, and she wanted to uh, to marry a new husband, and Islam forbid her from marrying a new husband. Sorry, to go back to her husband unless she have sex with a new husband. Is that a mistake, or this is something you like? Oh, well, you um okay. You don't know if that if she actually said that. You can't be sure she actually said she actually said that. What do you mean? This is sahih. Whoever rated okay, whoever rated it sahih was made a mistake. Ah, you made a mistake. So, but the Quran, when the Quran says beat your wife, it was a mistake. No. So why this is a mistake? Here, the woman, her husband did beat her, and the prophet he took the side of the man because the man he tried to rape her. And the, uh, and the wife, she don't want that because she want to go back to her previous husband. She married this man temporarily because your prophet, you order women, if they are divorced three times from the same husband, they cannot go back to the previous husband unless they have sex with the new guy. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? What if you divorce your wife three times? Do you really like it if she had to go and sleep with someone else so she can get back to you? Is that logical? Uh, you know the um, the the Old Testament says you can, you can do that type of stuff. Really? Too. No, I I like to show from you. Uh, show me where it says if you divorced your wife uh, three times. It says in the Old Testament if you divorce your wife three times, she can't come back to you unless you have a new husband. No, in, in Deuteronomy it says um, mm. if if a man doesn't like it, um, doesn't like his wife, he can divorce her. Mm. I'm not talking about divorce here. I'm talking about a woman. She want to go back to her husband. Just because her husband divorced her three times, she can't get back unless she has sex with a new guy. What is what is the logic? What is the dignity here? Where is the decency? You divorce uh, your Allah, wife three Allah, times. Allah knows best. Mm, Allah, Allah knows, knows best. best. So okay, Allah knows best by making the man beat his wife, right? Allah knows best by practicing muta. The same chapter you shared to me, chapter four, verse number twenty-four. It says you as a Muslim you can practice muta. What do you say about the muta? No, no, um, I'm against it. Okay, are you against it's the Quran? A, it's a Shia. It's a Shia ritual. No, this is the same chapter you quote for me. This is chapter four, verse twenty-four, my friend. This is not Shia. This is this is a uh, this is a Quran. What what Shia? How this can how, how this is became a Shia? <laughs> That's funny. It's chapter a, four. It's a Shia ritual. My friend, this yeah. is this is Quran. Is the Shia is the Quran the book of the Shia or the book of you? Chapter four, verse number twenty-four. It says you can pay women wages and you can have sex with them for fun. And if you want, I can show you the tafsir of the Sunni. What, what tafsir you like to see? Uh, really, hold also. What is your favorite tafsir? Um, well, tafsir Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir just to make you happy. Okay. Chapter 4, verse number 24, Ibn Kathir. I will show it to you in the front of you on the screen so everybody will see with me what I'm talking about. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Four, and here we choose 24 all right and bingo this is Ibn Kathir let us see what Ibn Kathir says this is about the muta 
and this doesn't have nothing to do with the Shia the Shia they still practice it because it's in the Quran you know read with me carefully my friend and by the way if Nikathir in English is a false translation but we will use it anyway right okay do you see so with those among you whom you enjoyed give them the required due money was revealed about the muta marriage do you see it you are the one who chose for me Ibn Kathir and your God is making it lawful for you to see a woman in the elevator you say to her take off your panty I will give you five dollars to take off her panty and according to Islam this is halal um, a, a clear reading of the verse it doesn't say it, it even says the my friend the aren't you the one who said to me read Ibn Kathir uh, isn't it you who said to me show me Ibn Kathir yeah, but Ibn Kathir, he he was against the muta. He's against the muta. How he can be against the muta if it is in the Quran? As you see, who, who is against it? He's saying this Wait. is no. He's saying this is true. The Quran. Uh, he is explaining the verse. He is explaining the verse. Says this is about the muta. He is the one saying this is about the muta. So in your I, religion, I, if Allah is God, what kind of God? He says, okay, if you see a woman. Agree with her about a period pre a pre a preset time, you know, a pre predated time date. You see, it says here a muta marriage is a marriage that end upon a pre determined date. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's a pre determined. So you go to a woman, you say to her, Okay, how much you charge me to have boom boom, boom with you? She said ten dollars. You said for uh, for how long? She said for two hours. You agree, yeah, she agree, married, but you're getting married. What getting married? This is not marriage. What kind of marriage? This marriage, how you can call it a marriage? So, you see, it's not this is why we believe Islam is satanic cult because this is not marriage, this is prostitution. You just made you made a prostitution legal. You go to a woman, you said to her, I want to have sex with you for two hours, I will pay you, take off your panty. If she agree and you agree, it's halal and you call it marriage. So, what Muhammad he did, he deceived you, he made you believe that adultery and sin. And garbage is from God. Uh, Allah, um, Allah, Allah, Allah knows best. Okay, Allah knows best. Thank you, my friend, for calling. There's some Muslim trying to call. Let us see if we can get someone who knows better than you who can answer about Islam. Thank you for calling. You can feel free to call me again if you wish. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye. All right. Let us see. Maybe we have some better Muslim. He can do better. We have a guy. His name is Mahdi. Okay. Let us see, Mr. Mahdi. Hello. Oh, this is you. Yeah. You still a Muslim? I thought you left Islam. Oh. Are you doing muta these days? Be honest with me. Yes. You are doing muta. Yes. How much it costs you these days? What is the market for muta these days in Islam? I don't know, man. Well, what do you mean? You just said I you do muta. Yes, I do. I do uh, muta uh, every day. Okay, and how much it cost you? With what? It's a free. It, this is not muta because in Islam, as you see, you have to pay her. The Quran says that you are breaking the law of Allah, my friend. Don't you fear that Allah will chop your penis? Yeah, twenty cents I pay. Okay, twenty cents. Okay, that's expensive. Um, uh, can I? Uh, the topic today is uh, uh, show proof Allah exists. All right. What is the proof? Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you. Mm. What are you going to play a tape for me? No. So I'm waiting. Show me. Yeah, I wait. I'm showing. I'm uh, uh, getting it right now. Oh, you are getting it. Okay. I hope Jibril is going to give you the inspiration. Yes. Hmm. What's happening? What? What is the proof? Yeah, I'm showing you. We just wait uh, thirty seconds. Well, why is it taking thirty seconds? You are searching Google. I thought you are you are the one who called me. Says I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm I'm uh, uh, sending it right now. Oh, you want to send me a link? Yes, but you start reading by the time. Okay, so you can listen to link. No problem. Start reading. Tell us what it says. Angel and devil in the Quran is mentioned eighty-eight times. Oof, 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 oof. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. What if I get you busted? 
Yes, I'm sending you the links. All right. What if I prove that this is a false thing? I'm sending you the links. My friend, what I what I if I prove that all those numbers are lie. Okay, show me. Okay. Proof. Guys, here we go. This is the link you showed me. This is the line you the, this is the link he gave us, correct? Okay. Al Malaika. Al Malaika, it's appeared 88 times, correct? I'm going to copy yeah. the word Al Malaika as it is in the in the screen. Why? Why not? Is it wrong? Just why are you doing that? Because we want to count if this is true or not. Okay. And I will post in the search engine. Okay, sure. And we will see if it's 88 time, and we will see we will copy the word Shaitan 88 time. You have to click on the dictionary, though. My friend, though, don't tell me uh, click a dictionary. Here we go. The result no, no, no. is 114 yeah. times, so it's a lie. What do you mean, where? It is 114 time showing the one the word angels showing in Arabic 114 friend, you time are using, you are using a uh, uh, which uh, website are you using your website this is your Islamic website Quran wow crazy that come what are you talking about you it's in the front website. of you it's in the, okay give me give me a uh, give me a website you approve we will search in the search engine okay? Hey, listen, my, my website, hmm. the, uh, it, 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 it doesn't go by translations. It, this is uh, not translation. I'm searching in Arabic. I just copied the same word exactly in your website, my friend, in the front of everybody. This is the word al malaika I copy and I paste, all right? It's exactly the word. I click search. Okay, now let us search shaitan. Let us search for shaitan, and you will see. Hold on, shaitan. I will search for the word shaitan. Hold on, hold on. You Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites who lie. Here you go. Shaitan appears 78 times. Shaitan appears 78 times. Not only that, why you are not quoting a you know, count in Iblis? If we count Iblis, I, I would do an Iblis is mentioned 11 times, which you are deceiving. The, what, what, uh, what, 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 what Iblis is mentioned 11 times, and what is mentioned to what? I would do what? I would do. Yes. Ah, yes. that is a miracle. So if I would do and I would do. Uh, mention it, okay. Oh, there is mention at eight, eight times, uh, 11 times. Oh, it's in the front of me, it says eight times. It's a lie. Listen, I listen, my website is correct. Just, you are deceiving your uh, viewers. I just uh, share us an engine in front of me. Everybody is witnesses. This is your Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. Jesus Christ, you're deceiving, man. Well, why you are cursing, my friend? Why you are insulting Jesus? Now, can you prove to me that Allah is exist? This is the this is what you have. Allah is exist. I'm showing you. This this is this is what you have. That Allah is exist. It's stupid. This is stupid. We prove it to be wrong. It's a false. It's a lie. Every statement there is a lie. Listen, devil hmm. angel was mentioned eighty eight times. I I, 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 I showed that it's not true. I showed it. Everybody says say it. We don't repeat the same thing. Give me something else. Listen, my the uh, the the website I'm using. Hmm. Is uh it, it doesn't go by translations. I'm it not using translation. It. This is Arabic, Arabic, search Arabic, Arabic. Who is what translation? Did you see a translation there? This is Arabic, Arabic. No, uh, if you are uh, done with the uh, live streaming, mm. go one by one. I did. I made many videos about it. Actually, I I wrote about them in my books. It's a lie. All of those are lies. Even there's Muslim website. I just I made a video two days ago. A Muslim website. They made calculation and they say all of this is lie. Is nothing true in them. You are such a big designer. guys. Did I did I make make a video just two days ago and I showed you the Muslim website saying that this is always a lie when I made a video about Shabir Ali. You remember? It's a Muslim you website. A, a Muslim website saying it clearly that all the numbers there is nothing but a lie. It's it's all true. Mm. It's all true. okay. So this is I the only admit. proof you have for me that Allah is exist. No, there's many more. Men and women is both mentioned 20, uh, 24 times. Uh, man and women? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll what, show you, I'll what, show you. what is that? Give me that. Give me that. Uh, if, but uh, I, I warn you, if it's not true, it's mean you Muslims are getting busted again. Yes. Hmm. Here we go. This is the this is the word Rajul. Uh, I'll, I'll send. I'll send. Oh, you will send. Oh, okay. He will send. Okay. We have to wait. He will send. We cannot show what we will, you know, he have to send it. Otherwise, Islam will be in trouble. I'll just do men first, then I'll send women. Okay, no problem. All right, this is 
<coughs> man guys here we go i will copy i will copy the word as it is what do you mean what do you mean look there look there oh uh, okay i'm looking i'm looking my friend i will i will go <laughs> this is a lie this is a big fat lie my friend let us show you. here we go this is the word Roger. actually the same as i type but i will i will paste as exactly you gave me how many times you say this exists 24 24 so why it's coming here 13 time because the, you're uh you're uh, searching on google it's not right i'm not searching on google this is your islamic website not Islamic website you're searching on Google yeah, I'm not searching Islam. this is Islamic website this is Quran this is Quran this is Quran I will copy the link here will go I will post it here everybody can see it let me post it okay this is Quran oh my don't say my God say oh my Allah you know you are such a deceiver okay here we go this is the Quran website not my website do you see it you this is my friend I'm it's not your a, friend. I don't. Fr I don't. Fr not, I don't friend idiots. These are not. Uh, and your and your page is not Arabic. They are fooling you. You don't even speak Arabic. How you know they are? They are truthful. I speak Arabic. Show me. Here we this go. Is this, is this is the word Rajul. This is the word Rajul. This is the word Rajul. So this is a false calculation. What are you talking about? You okay. Google. Did you count? Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So you are saying to me that this is the only proof that Allah is exist that there is equal numbers of words is exist in the Quran Which is we prove to be uh, false anything else. That's it Bankrupt no there's many more. There's many more of these word counts, but uh, I'll show you uh, oh, we got them busted anyway I mean go watch my videos my friend. We have you know, that's it. I'm not going to keep searching and showing it's it's a lie all of the lie Can you have anything else you want to add? Before we send you to jail. I am, I am not uh, gonna argue longer with this. Word. Okay who is a Muslim would like to call me Ali Jafar let us see mr. Ali hello hello yes mr. Ali how are you good I just wanted to say that you have become more desperate since David Wood was roasted by Muhammad hijab Mm. All you missionaries have become more desperate. My friend, did you hear the one who called me just 15 minutes ago? He said because of that debate, the guy he saw my videos and he left Islam. And he and he is now he's working with his family to leave Islam. So I don't know who is desperate. How do, you, how do you know he's not a Christian troll? Okay, let me ask you. Muhammad uh, Hijab. Okay, 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 okay. I will make you leave Islam. Muslim. I will make you leave Islam because of Muhammad Hijab. Let us see. Can you stand? Can you please wait with me? Muhammad Hijab, he said, not a single Jew worship another, another God beside one God for 4,000 years. Do you agree with him? He said what? He said, for 4,000 years, you can watch the debate again, as long as you watch it already, so you cannot say, I, I did not see it. He said, for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, not a single Jew worship a God beside the only God he is instructed to worship. Do you agree with him? He never said that. He said that. He said because that. Worship I lost. said no. He said that. that. No, he said heart. that. Stop being liar. He said that. Show me. Show me. Where Silence me. That? Okay. Uh, so if I show you, you will uh, you will accept. If I, I show you, was, if I show uh, you, if I show you, you apologize and you say you you were lying because you which you 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 lying about what? Lying about about, what? about he did not say that. Why you are saying to me he did not say that? He could make a mistake, but you have to. Show ah, me. so now it's a mistake. But did I say Muhammad Hijab is infallible? No, but you said to oh, me said people are leaving David Islam Wood. because of I him said, because he just approved that the Quran is corrupt, my friend. When four thousand years, four thousand years, hold on, hold on, four thousand years, four thousand years, nobody worship any god beside the true God, which they ordered instructed to worship the Jews, and then the Quran says that there's a guy, his name is Uzair. He was worshipped as the son of Allah. So Muhammad Hijab, he proved to us that Allah is a false God. And the Quran is a lie. Here we go, chapter 9, verse number 30. I'm not sure where Hijab said that. Oh, you want me to play for you the video now? You can, you can tell me what the video is and I'll look at it. Mm, okay. Let us see. We need to and find... then you can explain after you've shown me the video. Do you agree with David Wood that the Bible's corrupt? 
David Bush I, said I, the fight. I, 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 didn't, I never heard him saying that, but if he if he okay, said I, that, I, I, he said the ending of Mark is. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not later. I'm not responsible for anyone he speak. He speak for himself. You see, you are the one who said to me before because of David Wood and the hijab. For me, David Wood don't present me. I, I know debate me, and when I debate with me, that's and I don't present anyone too. I mean myself, I present myself. So if Muhammad Hijab are is you, saying something, hold on. Orthodox. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you Orthodox? I am what? Are you an Orthodox Christian? I am. Uh, no, I'm born again Christian. I believe in Jesus. I don't Do believe. believe I, don't, I'm, I don't believe in a church name. I believe in Jesus. Oh, so you okay. don't believe? In hold, the on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you where Muhammad Hijab is. I'm trying to look for the video. All right. Chapter six, verse five. There are okay. four spirits. So are there, uh, I'm trying to find the, how, the biblical text, and that's you know, he's been referred to as Emmanuel, etc. Uh, mean God is with us, <laughs> and we will answer about. <laughs> and for example, he says that for that Jesus, this is called the etymology fallacy. That's, you know, he's been referred to as Emmanuel, etc. God is with us. Elijah is also, what Elijah in the, in the Hebrew language means God is with us. <laughs> That's a stupid one. Let us go and see what else he said about. Uh, I'm trying to Can find I, it for you. You see, you're, yeah, yeah. you're okay, hold on. I'm trying to and find in it. a second. You will see. I'm trying to find Don't it. Accept all the Bibles, you liar. Don't, they found a manuscript. Let us it, see. You, Nobody. You accept all the Bibles. Yeah, because don't change the topic. I'm trying to find yeah. you because you said you said for you said he did not he did you said he did not say that he said that, and everybody knows. Anyway, and that's why the translators put four. Okay, hold on. He said that Allah he prayed four, not two. Do you agree with this one? And we will go then to to uh, to four thousand years. They are clapping for him. They don't know what he's going to say next. They're changing the subject. I knew it. I knew it. And that's why the translators put four, not to the prophet. See, I would you agree that Allah he pray for not to show me what you claimed you made a claim support your claim Stop changing the subject. Princess. What do you mean? What do you mean? Allah he pray for not to I'm, I'm looking for in the video. I'm screwing the video I'm, I'm looking for yeah. I don't know what I don't know what moment. Don't, he said that don't play anything Hold on. Else is gonna happen. I knew. Okay <laughs> The translator did be uh -huh. between them But Allah he pray for of mistakes. Okay, I'm trying to search that the video is long Anyone well, remember what well, moment? Well, just, just wait, just wait. Everybody, everybody knows that this is what he said. I mean, this is stupid of you. This is a stupid of you to say he did not say that. I mean, people will will, will laugh at you. Shame on you to say he did not say that. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me open the the the, the whole thing. Hold on. Yeah. Remember what you claimed. You said he said that. Okay. Never, so if I never. prove it, if I prove it, you you will agree that he's a donkey. Be a man and say yes. Oh, uh, he can make a mistake. Oh, uh, he make a mistake. I also want to give credit to. Hold on. Fizzer. Later, it assumes that he. I'm searching the the video. Hold well, on. Jeremiah. Jews. There are lots of bad. This, these are your words. There are lots of bad, and time. And Hold on. It's going to be the Bible, right? He made a short list in mid fourth century, the twenty seven books of the Old Testament. Now, things. He says he believes in progressive revelation in the old, in the New Testament. Well, that's very good. You know why? Because I agree with him on this point. I want to end with this. I agree with him. I believe he's right. Yes, the Bible does talk about a progressive revelation, which is why it talks about the upcoming prophet. <laughs> Let us see. Anyone remember which minute he speak about that? If somebody can search for it, what he said for 4,000 years, no single Jew worship any other God. He's instructed to worship only one God. Did he say they were Hold on. Chapter 6, 108. Hold on. Did he say they were instructed not to or they did not? He did That's not. He said for 4,000 years. For 4,000 years. Guys, somebody okay. somebody find it for me and we'll play it. When Just tell me which minute it is. He said that. If somebody can search the video. Find me which minute he said that and everybody will love for 4,000 years not a single Jew The Jews they were instructed for 4,000 years yeah, That's true. They were instructed not to okay That's mean the Quran is a lie because he is talking about 4,000 years. This is since the time of Musa's So since the time of Musa's not a single Jew He was yeah, they... he worship he was he was answering about the Trinity my friend 
He said the Hello. Jews, how come we cannot find the, 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 the Trinity in the Old Testament? He said, and for 4,000 years. But Princess, no. you're, changing, you're changing your premise. No, I am not changing. You're changing for your For 4,000 years, for four. Okay, somebody, yeah. hold on, hold on. Somebody saying to me, uh, 20, uh, minute 28 and 15, hold on. Yeah. Minute 28, 15, let us show. Okay. But you changed your premise. Hold on. Guys, how can it be a minute at, at uh, 28? Because the debate, uh, okay, so now that, that cannot be a correct uh, answer. The minute 28, the debate did not start. The, the video recording start like a, uh, an hour and nine minutes, and yet, so maybe 28 minutes after that. So let us see, an hour, 28 minutes. Okay, hold on. Look, there are 9,000 pronouns in the Bible which relate to God's name. Let's take, for example, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Guys, yeah, is that after or before? It can't be 28, 30. It cannot. One hour, 25. Okay. Because how it can be in 28, 40 is if the debate started an hour and uh, something after. Okay, hold on. You guys are giving me the wrong number. Okay, One, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will make you hear it. Everybody will laugh in a second. Yeah, hold, well, on. What, what hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. One message which can also be seen in the link below. You can see more information about that. Hmm. Now, to cut straight into it, the question now is this the question is, when we look at the Old Testament, do we find this idea of the Nicene Trinity? Because the Nicene Trinity. It's very specific. After the Constantinople Creed in 381, the idea that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three co-equal, co-eternal, independent beings. Remember those words. Co-equal, co-eternal, independent persons of the one being of God. This is the Nicene understanding of the Trinity. Now, having said that, guys, when you look at the Old Testament, do we see this? Because when we look at the Old Testament, we find the Shema, chapter 6, verse 4. Shema Israel, Adonai Elohino, Adonai Echad. Hero Israel, my Lord, our Lord is one Lord. Here, when you look at the first commandment, chapter 20, verse 3 of Exodus, you find there's no God beside me. I'm your Lord and there's no God beside me. You find in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11, once again, the discussion of I am your God and besides me there is no savior. Now someone might argue, but the word Elohim, and this is the weakness of the argument, it's a weak linguistic argument. The word Elohim is a majestic plural, they would argue. Look, there are 9,000 pronouns in the Bible which relate to God's name. Let's take, for example, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Guys, you gave me the wrong number, the wrong timing. Are we going to play five minutes, ten minutes? Look like we have to scroll down a little bit. Adara means he created. It in third person male singular. One more time. Third person male singular. You don't find a plural version of that. You don't find a pronoun which is pluralized. It cannot be 125, my friend, because 127 already in one. Uh, this is this is a moment 127. He's got giving me give me wrong numbers. How it can be 125? Maybe 128, let us see. And now you will see that this guy, when he hear it, he will say, eh, he made a mistake. Break the commandments. Hold on, here we go. Remember you your see? pain. Hold on. Bereshit, Bereshit, Bara, Elohim. Whenever you find a pronoun in the Old Testament referring to Elohim, you will always find it 
in third person male singular. One more time. Third person male singular. You don't find the plural version of that. You don't find the a pronoun which is pluralized. So now the question would be is this. A Jew who is acquainted with the Torah, with the Old Testament, why would one ask him to realign his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact, he's been instructed quite explicitly, in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments? You see, it gets a little bit more interesting, even when you look at the New Testament. Now, we know the New Testament has different authors. There's 27 books of the New Testament. You've got Did you hear, guys? He just said that the Jews instructed why he would yeah. do that why he would do that so he is confirming that the jews did not do that and then he would confirm that four thousand years hold on no, no, no. hold on he's written so from seven to thirty weeks on. in this dispute as to exactly how much is hold on written. john written many books who is john we don't know who john is okay hold on let me go the jews never the jews worship um never worshipped anyone else in those four thousand years yes, so yes. Hypocrisy. Where hypocrisy hold, on. hold on another one is a straw man and a third one is the red herring these three fallacies are employed by him quite often and he talks about Islam extensively as you guys may know in a negative way Salam initiative has put up a database of all of the major misconceptions against Islam being answered and this can be seen in the link below I also want to give credit to um, one team member okay hold on look like this is not taking me anywhere hold on so now so the now question is this, a Jew is acquainted with the Torah, the Old Testament. Here we go. Why would one ask him to realize his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact he's been instructed quite explicitly, in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments? Actually, this is a very good question from Mr. I didn't know why I hear myself twice. Why a Jew? Uh, it's playing inside Skype, maybe. Not to break the commandment to worship one God. Hello? He will do that. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find where is the 4,000 year statement. Quite explicitly, in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments. Why is it that in the Old Testament, you do not find the Trinity mentioned or inferred? Well, if it was inferred, why haven't the rabbis, the Jewish scholars, for 4,000 years of Hebrew history inferred it? Here we go. Very much. We go. Here we go. Did you hear it? For 4,000 years, 4,000 years. Did you hear it, Ali? Did you hear him saying for 4,000 years? No. Okay, let me play it ag again for you. Play it again. All right. Testament, you do not find the Trinity mentioned or inferred. And if it was inferred, why haven't the rabbis, the Jewish scholars, for 4,000 years of Hebrew history inferred it? Did Thank you see it? Did you hear it? Yeah, that's true. Okay, is, but well, did, you, did you say this is true? Did you say this is true? Muhammad Hijab is saying, yeah. obviously, okay. it's a lie. Guys, did he, he say, said, okay, hold on. You just say this is true. That means the Quran is false. You and you are, are, are getting the Quran busted well, because the Quran in chapter talking, 9, you, no, he said it clearly. About? He said, no, not a single rabbi for 4,000 years. We can find this. 4,000 years, what? He said, no rabbi in 4,000 years. They worship only one it's God. He said, read the, read the, No, 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 you never said No, that. listen, no, no, he said feet. that. They were instructed to worship only one God. Only one God. Yeah. Instructed he to worship it. only one God. Let us play yeah. again. Hold on. Let us everybody laugh. Instructed way in the Old Testament. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's saying. He's trying to prove why we cannot find the Trinity in the Old Testament. They are instructed to worship one God. And for yeah. 4,000 years, for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi, he did. Uh, uh, in, uh, taught anyone to worship another god except one god. No, 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 no. He never said that. Listen, listen carefully. He said they never. Listen carefully. Shut up, donkey. Here we go. Read carefully. Listen carefully. So now the question is this. 
Torah, with the Old Testament, why would one ask him to realign his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact, he's been instructed quite explicitly, in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments? Actually, this is a very... And what is the commandment? He was quoting for us to worship God alone. This is what he was saying in the debate. He was instructed, he quote for us from the Old Testament, oh, oh Israel, your God is one God. He was instructed to worship God alone for 4,000 years. Hijab proved to us that the Bible is the truth and the Quran is a lie. He was quoting for us, you can watch the debate again, for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi, not a single rabbi. 4,000 years, he broke what he's instructed to do what? To worship, O oh, Israel, your God is one God. Hypocrite liars. Now let me call you back. So did you hear it? Hello? Did you hear it? Yeah, he said in okay. 4,000 years, they never inferred a trinity. No, he said that he was quoting for us that you worship one God only. Stop lying. He said the Jews, and he quote for us from the Old Testament that the Jews lie. always worship one yeah, God. Yeah. So, they're and he said, and he too. confirmed that for four thousand years, not a single Jew, not a single rabbi, four thousand years, he did not what? He did not broke the commandment of you God, life, which is so. Lying. So you, so you're you, you, lying. you are, you are helping us, you and Hijab, to make people leave you, Islam because lying, he proved to us that the Quran is a lie. They never inferred a trinity. No, no, he was no, no. We can watch people. People, they can watch the lying. debate. He was quoting for us. Lying. He was lying. quoting for us. Lying. Liar! Let me lying. shut you up. Here we go. We'll play it again. We'll play it again and again. Let everybody laugh. You Muslims are a bunch of liars. He was quoting from the Old Testament that they worship only one God. Christian people is to come to common terms that we worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're yeah, right. Of all of the Gospels, most ancient Gospels. What did Jesus say? Did he say? Let us see, hold on. <laughs> Why would one ask him to realign his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact he's been instructed quite explicitly, in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments? What is the commandment he's talking about? Go, go previously, and he was, says he was quoting for you from the Old Testament to worship one God, not to break the commandment. You see how hypocrite liars they are? So he was debating based on what? Trying to prove to the Christian that the Jews did not break the commandment of God, which is you worship your God alone. And this liar, he is saying to us, he did not say that. <laughs> he is defined by the Athanasius Creed in 500 AD, Athanasian Creed, as one divine <laughs> God, but one God. It goes. See? The Father is almighty. Oh, no. The Bible which relates to God's name. Let's take, for example, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Bereshit, Bereshit. Bara, Elohim. The word Bara means he created. Whenever you find... A Anyways, so, so he's trying in the whole quotation from the Old Testament that the, 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 the whole Bible in the Old Testament is speaking about one God. But the donkey he forgot, because he don't know what he's talking about, that the word Echad does not mean oneness as one person. It is a unity. This is what Muhammad he used in his stupid Quran. When he says, say that Allah is Ahad. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. Ahad is coming from Echad. Echad in the Hebrew is not one as a person. It is a unity. That's why the Bible says. Let us find the verse. But the man and the wives. 
when they get married they became a chad it is not one person it is a unity in the Old Testament it says when a man and a woman they get married they became a chad this is what a chad mean and Muhammad he took it he put it in his book because he is an idiot copy paste thief Echad is a unifying name. Here we go. Stupid idiot. He was trying to quote for us from the Old Testament what to prove that the Christianity is right. And by saying for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi broke the command of his God, which he's instructed, what? To worship one God. Genesis 2 24 the two shall become one a God flesh it is the, the, the this you see it's the same word as we see this is what happened when a potato tried to teach you and then he said to us Elijah mean God is with us he don't speak Hebrew he got his prophet busted he said that Allah he prayed for he don't pray to and yet you are saying to me, and we just heard the guy from India who said he left Islam because of Muhammad Hijab. Because that debate led him to my videos and my videos made him leave Islam. So I want to say thank you, Muhammad Hijab, for getting Muhammad busted. For 4,000 years, and look here, Muhammad, he copied the same word. He says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is, Allah is a khad. And even the ignorant Muslim today, they use the word Tawheed when they speak about Allah. Tawheed in Arabic does not mean one. It means unity. Go ask, ask anyone who speaks Arabic. Tawheed does not mean one. It means unity. Unifying. And because Muhammad, he stole this word from the Hebrew, the word here in Arabic appear wrongly. Because you cannot say Qul huwa Allahu ahad, and you stop ahad in Arabic, it's mean one off. If we take the same word, I will copy the same word in front of your eyes and I will search for it in the Quran. Copy paste. You will see all the translation for the same word in the Quran come only as one off, not one. It cannot be one. Here we go. Let me show you. وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانْ مِنْ أَحَدْ You see the word Ahad? They teach anyone but, anyone. You have to be one off. One by one. They did not teach anyone. He have to be one of many. You see? Teach, teach it to anyone. The word here, Ahad, is translated to anyone. Different verse. Next one. Chapter 2, verse number 136. The same. Here it says that those are all the prophets and we don't differentiate between any of them. So Ahad here mean between any of them. This is what Ahad mean. Any of them. Ahad does not mean one person. This is stupid. Muhammad the thief, he copied from the Old Testament. He put it in the Quran and now he got himself in trouble. Let us continue. The word Ahad in the Quran. This is all about word Ahad. Chapter 2, verse number 285. The same word. Read and laugh. Here, man who min Ahad. Each one believe in Allah and his angels, and etc. And he says, We make no distinction distinctions between any of. This is what Ahad means. Any of, which means any one of. He have to be one of many. He cannot be. He cannot be one. This is what Ahad mean. Let us change the, the verse. Let us continue. Get Muhammad and his followers busted. Chapter three, verse number seventy-three. Read carefully and laugh. Here we go. Here it says, again, Ahad in you in you ta Ahadun mithluma utitum. You see the word Ahad? It's in the screen. Let us see what the translation will be. That anyone. Is given you see the anyone this is what I had mean you have to be one of many any one if there's only one you don't say anyone 
<laughs> Let us continue. Actually, here it should be any off. <clears throat> but may the same meaning, but with any off or one off. One off. Here, chapter 3, verse number 84. The same. La ahad. Okay? And there, with distinction between any of, do you see it? This is Ahad, any of, any of them. This is what Ahad mean. Here we don't debate, here we spank the liars. Chapter 3, verse 153. Again, one of, read with me carefully. Uh, read carefully here. Anyone. Do you see it? Which when which mean any of your people? Do you see it? This is Ahad. We go to different verse. The whole Quran, the whole Quran, always the word Ahad appear, always the Muslim translated as one of. One of all, all, all. Look, look how many, look how many times. Look how many times it's in these verses. All this only in that chapter they claim that this is Allah is one. How come? Read with me. Chapter 90, verse look, all of those. All of those are Ahad. <laughs> Read it. <clears throat> chapter 35, verse 40. Chapter 69, verse number 47. Chapter 72, verse number 22. Uh, uh, chapter 89, verse number 25. You can, you, can, you can just click at any of them and see the translation. It's a scam. Here the word Ahad, they translate it as none. None. Which means no one. He cannot be one. He have to be one of many. That's it. This is not about one person. It's about one of many. Uh, uh, chapter 19, verse number 5. Chapter 19, verse number 7. Chapter here, here only in this verse, the Muslims, they translate the same sentence. Look, just to show you here. You see the same guys this is the same chapter chapter 112 verse number one and verse number four and you will see it's the same word do you see it do you see it the first one the muslim they translated wrongly but it's the same word guys is this is the screen clear the same chapter just to show you the deception of translation i'm going to click on them chapter 12 verse number four four and chapter 12 verse number one both words are exactly the same words be my witness and if we go now in the translation surprise surprise look what will happen click here they say say allah is the one Right, in the other one, the, the verse number four, they said, "But none is comparable into him." None. How the word "one" became none? It's the same sentence. It's the same word. It's the same chapter. Here is one ahad, and here is ahad. The same writing, the same spelling, the same pronunciation, the same exactly. One is translated as one, and the other one is translated as none, which means anyone. Do you see how we prove it? If we change the translator, what will happen? Let us do it. Big Tal, we go to any translation you want. Which one you want? Ahmad Ali. Read and love. No one. Do you see it, guys? Suddenly, the word one became no one. No one. <laughs> so how he says one, how here became one, and here his case became no one. It's the same exactly. It is one of. The word ahad never in Arabic is one. It have to be always one of, always. Look here, the translation. The word one became any, any. The same word, 
here translated as one you see the hypocrisy and this is in the same chapter the word appeared twice the same here translated as any so how one became any if there's only one now the coward he was saying to me is uh, 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 you know where is this guy let us call him back so we can laugh he said to me that hijab did not say that so hijab in this debate he made a lot of stupid things which is wonderful for us he said allah he pray for allah don't pray too he said for four thousand years the jews were instructed to worship only one god and actually he said many things like i don't remember what he said which is very funny and very stupid too but what i need more than a man he proved to me that the bible never corrupt for four thousand years the Jews, they were instructed to worship one God only. Oh, you Israel, say your God is Ahad. And he was the one who was trying to prove that to us. And we agree. The Jews worship only one God. Because the Trinity is about one God. It's not about three gods. And the word Ahad means unifying. Unif unity is not about one person. This is why the Bible in, in Genesis, it says that the man and the wife, they get married and they became a god the same exact word and this is coming from the hebrew the word ahad in front of us is not an arabic word and just to prove as long as we are talking about a god muhammad because he's an ignorant He could not understand what the Jews are doing. He's a thief. In chapter 59, verse number 2, it says, And they demolish their houses with their own hands. Anyone understand what does that mean? Here you will see that the God of Islam need to go to school so he can be maybe a five, six years old boy who learned from the rabbi what this is mean. When the Jews, they move from place to place. If the house will not be occupied by a Jew, they will take a rock which is covering the front door. Let me make it simple for you. I will have to use a drawing again. When a, when a Jew, he built a house, and this is his door for the house, okay? This is a house, let us assume. All right. The Jew either he put a sign here made from rocks in the top of the house. It says that verse from the Bible where it says, Oh, you Israel, your God is a God. Sometimes they place it in the right side of the house here. So when they move, they take that rock with them. They don't leave it for the pagans, so they will insult it. So the Quran do not know why they are doing that. The Muslims, they came, the Jewish, they run away, and they found that they destroyed the doors of their houses. Why? Because they are taking the verse where it says, Oh, you Israel, your God is a God. So for 4,000 years, not a single Jew worship anyone beside Elohim Yahweh Jehovah 4000 years and this is what your did your your idiot uh, Mimi hijab he said proving to us that the Quran is a lie because the Quran confirmed that the Jews they worship a person his name is Uzair 
and not only they worship a person his name is Uzair, they worship even their rabbis before you call me you have to introduce yourself to be sure that you are not a kid any Abdul in the beginning he said to me he did not say that where he mentioned the 4,000 years the guy he watched the debate supposedly and he claimed that he saw it and look what Muhammad here he said which proven Muhammad to be a false prophet again where we can find in the Old Testament as long uh, hijab is defending the Old Testament it's very weird <laughs> Where we can find in the Old Testament, there's a guy, his name is Uzair. You see here in the translation, the Muslim, they say the Ezra. There's no such a thing in Arabic. This is not Ezra. Who is Ezra? So they could not find the name in the Old Testament. They said, okay, let us say, let us say Ezra. Yes, Ali. You admit you was lying. Yeah, yeah I admit that you were lying. I watched the video and you cut out the bits where you no we did not cut we did not cut we you played again cut, and again we played again and again and you are a liar like 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 hijab You're a liar like so Paul. let me ask you let me ask you okay hold on did you say Paul did you say Paul he said it does not infer no did you say did you say yourself Paul did you say Paul yeah Paul is a liar okay what if I show you that your scholars they say that Paul is a messenger of Allah and his name is mentioned in the Quran that point's already been refuted by who can you can, times, can you can you can you can you refute it for us bcci ministries were can you can you can you refute it to us can you refute it to us can you do what they did yeah because paul okay can you can you refute to us can you can you refute that to us yeah i can do that but first you admit you was lying you are the one is liar the same but as he said it he said it does not infer a trinity no, he said he was quoting that the Israeli they said that your God is one and he was saying that the name of God mentioned that thousand of time in the Bible and not even one of them is about God being pearl name or per person This is the whole debate is about stop being a liar and he was he quoting it. again and again and no no and no and Yes, he is he, yes, he said the Trinitarian but he mentioned before that your God is one God did he quote that verse yes or no? Yeah, that's the verse. okay what that verse says why he's quoting it? He's quoting it to prove that Israel they worship your God only. And he no, said no, no. there, he, he said, said only stop being a liar. You are a liar. He said, he said that you worship your God. Your why he why he was what okay? What is the command? He said in the video, hold on, hold on. He said they, they're instructed, they are instructed in the he said they are instructed. And you've been exposed. Okay. Well, you are you are you are a donkey and you, we are laughing at you. You can lie as much as you want. Everybody is laughing because the whole debate is him proving from the Old Testament that the Jews did not believe in the Trinity. And he was quoting verses saying, you worship your God alone. And the top of that, he said they were instructed clearly by the command. And he was quoting the command. And what is the command is to worship God alone. Stop lying. You got busted. <clears throat> Let us see. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Liar, liar. And Paul is a proven to be a messenger of God from your books. You said to me, you would prove that to be wrong. I challenge you. Coward. We take calls only from Muslims, please. <clears throat> Let us see this kid. Hello. Yes, Abdul. How are you? This uh, verse you were talking about in Surah 9, verse 30. Mm. This is actually uh, a proof that this is the word of God. How? This verse. How? The Allah. Mm. He's talking about a small group which was Jewish mm. and they and they believed in the divinity of one who was called Ezra and he is called mm. uh, Hezekiel in the Bible mm. it, it, it was it was a smaller group 
Yes, this was a small group. It's okay, not guys, I, I want you to be my witness. I want you guys to be my witness. You said a smaller group, correct? Yes, this was okay. A small so why group he was saying? This... Okay, hold on. So why he was saying the Jews, if they are a smaller group, why he called them the Jews? Yes, the the text is saying the Jews, but it not mean all the Jews. This is a particular group. Oh, so you, was... you are saying to me, Allah, he made a mistake. He should add the word some of the Jews. No, there is no mistake. You, you are you okay. Are Let me get you wrong. busted. Let me get you busted. Show me the reference of what you are saying that some of the Jews, according to the tafsir, one Jew only believe in that. Why you are lying? It was only one Jew. You know who is the best? <laughs> one <who can laughs> don't it? tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me who can answer it. You answer it. Why you tell me who can answer it? You tell me. Show me from the tafsir. It says some of the Jews, it says that only one Jews, and that to prove again that the Quran is a stupid book. Because if it's only one Jew, why he says the Jews? And not only that, he says the Jews and then he said the Christians. So he is making a statement about all of them, the Christians and the Jews. Both of them, they worship a person. His name is, one is, his name is Israel and the other one, his name is Christ. And they say he is the son of Allah. He did not say some of the Jews. No, this, this was like the divine, like you believe that Jesus is divine, yeah? Uh, don't change the topic. You said you said if a few of the Jews believe in that. Show me the show me the reference. It was only one Jew. Yes, I will show you. Okay, okay, show me, show me. Okay, go ahead. Give me the reference. I sent to you this. Okay. I sent you the, the link here mm. in your Skype. All right. And I want you to go to uh, the uh, mm. go to uh, when it's in three minutes. And 20 seconds. We can, we can play videos. Give me a reference. Give me a reference. Don't don't give me videos. Just to be stupid. Here. Give me a reference. Don't give me YouTube. We can't play YouTube. We have limited. We cannot play YouTube many. We can play for a, a second. It's a it's but, a short and it's my a friend. Who give me. I don't care. Give me the reference. Which is color? He say what you are saying, and we will open it, this and everybody will rabbi, see. This is a rabbi. Rabbi. What rabbi? This is a stupid. This is no. This is Toby Singer, right? He said it clearly that we would not have a, such a book. We don't have such a name. He said we don't have such a name. Is that to weave a singer? Is that to weave a singer? Is that to weave a singer? He said we don't have such a name. We never heard of such a name. He said that clearly. No, he says that here that it was they have they have discovered that that there was a Jewish group <laughs> believed that Ezra. My which friend, is, is a my friend. First of all, first of all, there's no guy. His name is Ezra in the Quran. It says Uzair, and Ezra is not Uzair. Do you see it? Yes, this this Jewish. Uh, no, but this, this this guy, his name is Ezra. And at the same time, if you say to me, they discover, they discover, how in the world your God, he says the Jews, they say, why he is saying, because those will not be Jews if they are worshiping that, if they are doing that. As an example, today we have people, they call themselves Jehovah's Witnesses. We call them Jehovah's Witnesses. We don't call them Christians. They are the Christians. So if you say that Jehovah's Witnesses are the Christians, the people will laugh at you. If we say the Mormon are the Christian people will laugh at you so you cannot call them the Jews if they are not Jews so your God here he made a poo-poo same time not only they worship Hosea uh, what about verse number 31 it says they took their rabbis as God yes okay but can you name for me the rob don't jump can you can, 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 can you can you name answer? for me now you cannot answer give me the reference can I answer yeah give me the reference can, can I answer? Can okay, you just be you quiet. See, you see, seconds? Be, because you are trying not to answer, I will go myself and show you no, the reference. Do you, do, you, do you want that? Do you want that? Do you want can to show, you, do you want to show you the can reference? You stop, can you stop talking so I can yeah, answer? But why you don't want to give me a reference? Why you, why you don't let me answer? I will let you answer, but why you don't give me a reference? You are talking to I, me. I give you the link. Why what, don't you what, open this it? Is a, this is a video. I don't play videos. Give me a reference. This is a rabbi who talking. This I don't care. Best. I don't care who is he. This is this is a stupid answer. Give me uh, for us. We have books. Either you show me from the Bible or you show me where it says in your books that there is a groups only a group. It says that according to the seer, it says there is only one person. They are the best who knows what they, they believe was and what. Thank they you were very not. much, guys. Did, 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 did he say that the Jews they are the best to know what they believe? No, this is this is a, he's talking about. This, I am, uh, yeah, group. okay. Do uh, you just say they are the best to know? Do you admit that the, the rabbi are the best to know? Yes or no? About this situation, about only, Jews, yes. only the situation, only only the what? situation, only the situation they knew, the rest they do not know.
the best who can talk about this is the rabbi okay but do you accept what they say or accept only this they have discovered that they my friend where we discover show me believe. okay show me the reference the guy whatever he said to you in the in the video show me the reference I, where we discover I that the link. I no, don't you give me the go and give me a link of a stupid I video why you why first, you of all, first of all first of all the guy you gave me he is no rabbi he is a donkey secondly secondly uh, of yes course. But it don't go down your throat. He's a donkey. No, course. no, because you have to give me reference. Give me reference. What, what, what the rabbi said to you? Give me the reference. So let's open it. He's a Jew. He knew better than Who you. Who care? Okay, he's a Jew. He knew better than you. Then. Yes, he knew better okay. than me. Of course. Not a single word in the Bible mentioned that there is anyone worship Ozair. Otherwise, the Jews themselves in the in the in the Bible it should say there is a person who said that, and this is we are against him. The Bible mentioned all the false cults and what the Jews they did in their history. So how come they did not mention that? So we discover what discover. He said that the Jews they said that's mean all the Jews. He did not say some of the Jews. So your Quran is making a mistake. If even if if even if this rabbi is saying the truth, because if Allah is God and He know how to speak Arabic, He should not say the Jews. He says some of the Jews. Can I can I answer this? Go ahead. You just say hmm. okay. Uh, the Quran is not a fairy tale book. He don't speak like uh, me or you. You understand? How? This is how he, he give he, he speak in his way, you know. And if you want to know a history, you have to go and see the history. Okay. If you want to see what it's about, he don't speak in, in like a history book or fairy tale book. Uh, so how the Quran says? As long as we are talking about speak, fairy tale. He's, okay, he's we are so, talking about so, okay. Okay, we are talking about we are talking about fairy tales and the Jews. How come that Allah He says that Suleiman he have a flying carpet? If he say that he had that, so what? Okay, so and a second ago, guys, listen to this. The Quran is not a fairy tale book, but the Muslim believe that Suleiman he have a flying carpet, and he don't have a problem with that. So how you say to me is not a fairy tale book, and you believe that Suleiman he have a, a flying carpet can fit for six hundred thousand chairs. And he carry all his kingdoms and all his donkeys and all his horses and all his soldiers in the top of flying carpet. Uh, let me correct you mm. that the 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 copper was not the one who was flying. He had the power of the wind, so the wind was turning. That's it, a lie. You, do you want me to get you busted? Yes, you can okay. see. He, he what, had, interpret he the, what, the interp power, what interpretation? What interpretation you like to see? Should we go to Ibn Kathir or someone else? Allah give him the control to no the problem. Let us see. The, let us see. Okay, let us see if you are saying the truth or not. If let us see if this is what you are saying is the truth. You are you, will hold, on, to this. hold on, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't chat. don't run. Don't don't, rabbi don't run. Yeah, Jewish the rabbi way. the rabbi agree with me, not with you. You Muslims are a bunch of liars. Here we oh, go. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Fairy tale stories. Quran. Look at this. This is stupid. This cannot be God. This is Ibn Kathir. Read with me carefully. You say that Allah He controlled the wind. Huh? Yes, He controlled the wind, but He have a flying carpet. Allah control the wind. Read carefully. Read carefully. Here we go. This is your scholar Ibn Kathir. Unless you want to say Ibn Kathir is a liar too. Read carefully with me. And by the way, the translation in English is funny and stupid. It's not. It's not true. But anyway, let us see. Here we go. <clears throat> Solomon, who was the one who get control? Okay, of the wind. no problem. Yes, Suleiman, he controlled the flying carpet. And to Suleiman, we subjected the wind strongly. Ragging, ragging means we subjected the uh, the the strong wing to Suleiman. He can continue uh, explaining. And we of everything, we are all knower. He had a mat made of wood on which he would place the equipment of his kingship: horses, camels, tents, and troops. And then he would do command the wind to carry it. Do you agree with that? He command the wind to carry. Did you to carry what? Read? To carry the mat. Yes, the well, wind. Well, this is what the flying carpet is the flying carpet that the wind is going to carry the mat and the fly. This is what the flying carpet is. So he command the wind and the wind go underneath the flying carpet and they, 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 it, it, it carry him. So you believe, and he put his horses, his troops, his the whole kingdom, the whole kingship. Is in the top of flying carpet. Yes, he had he had the capa capa capacity. To how do that how big how him. how big this flying carpet to fit for six hundred thousand chairs and all the camels, all the horses, all the chickens, all the donkeys, all the animals in his in the top of it. 
How it's big the it is? Wind. It's the wind. You don't My understand. friend, it says here there's a mat. He had a mat made of wood. Do you read? Do you know how to read? He yes, had a mat. This wind take up the mat. Okay, how big the mat is to carry all the kingdom. The whole kingdom is a flying. My this friend, the trump big, big tr thing for me. What do you mean? How big it is? The whole kingdom of, of David of Solomon is flying. How how many? According okay. to your tafsir, according to your tafsir, six hundred thousand chairs for people to sit, plus all his soldiers, plus all his horses, plus all his ministers, plus all his birds, because he have an army of genie, he have an army of of, uh, of birds, all of what them in the top. What? What is genie? Genie. You do not know Jin, Jin. it's the name Jin. Yeah, Jinny, Jinny and the ball. Don't you know the song? What the genie? Hmm. You have to say correctly. okay. Let me Jin. ask you. You may okay, as long as you're stuck with the genie. Do you believe that genie they used to work for Suleiman? Of course. Okay, what they do for him? They served him, whatever he said. How they did do what it. they do? What they do? Explain to us. Everything they was like uh they, they did everything which he called like what, like what? Give us an answer. Like everything, if you wanted to do something, they they do it. Okay, is it true? You keep saying everything, everything. Is it true that they die for him and they bring him jewelries from the ocean? I have not heard about that, so I cannot comment. This is from the Quran. Women as shaytini man yaghusuna lahu. So Suleiman, he have a team of genie shaytan. They are shaytan, not only genie. They are shaytan. They die for him to get him jewels from the ocean. Is that a fairy tale story or this is true? If the Quran says that that's true, everything in Quran is 100% true. Okay, let me ask you a question. If mm -hmm. Shaitan he died for Suleiman to give him jewels, that means Shaitan is a good guy. Shaitan, it's not a, talking about this Shaitan you thinking about. This is a jinn. No, it says Shaitan. Doesn't say jinn. But, but you have to understand no. there are different different Shaitans. You must doesn't matter. Are you, you saying? No are you clue, saying huh? to me? Are you saying to me this is a Muslim Shaitan? It's not about Muslim Shaitan. I'm there asking you. Shaitans. Don't tell me different Shaitan. No, Shaitan is Shaitan. Is he a Muslim Shaitan or he you is? Are not the one who choose. You are not a Muslim. I, I am asking you. I'm Muslim. asking you. Is he a Muslim Shaitan or not a Muslim Shaitan? Either you say he's a Muslim Shaitan or you say he's not. He's a jinn, and he was. He, he was, he was not called. He was called Shaitan in the Quran. Don't play games. He was called Shaitan, and Shaitan means Satan. So Satan, he worked for Suleiman. Don't don't play games. He did not say I genie. Understand. He didn't say genie. He said Shaitan. Shaitan is a genie. Yes, this is the kind. But he is a Satan. So he said Shaitans, and not only Shaitan, Shaitan, which means many of Satans. They die for him. Do you agree with that? Is he a Muslim Shaitan or he is not a Muslim Shaitan? In the Arabic, what does it say if you read? You do not know Arabic, don't you? Can you read? Do you know Arabic? No, I, I do not know. You, come on, read. Well, I don't know Arabic. You know Arabic. You tell me. You tell me you are a Muslim. You know better. Know. You, are you, you are the one who you told me. You are the one who told me I'm a Muslim. I know better than you. Okay, read it for us. I go have ahead. never say I'm no better than you. Uh, okay, here we go. Say. I say sh shut up. Okay. Wamina shayatin. Wamina shayatin. And by the way, the word shayatin here is written wrongly. You see, there's an elf missing. A shayateen written very stupidly in the Quran. Women as shayateen, many a So mm -hmm. from the Satans who they are diving for him. So those Satans are the good Satans or bad Satans? I don't understand why you change the subject. We talked about the Jewish and now you are. We talking are talking about, about the fairy tales. It? Everything you have there is a fairy tale. There's no Jews believe in Uzair. We cannot find one. And the Quran says all the Jews did not say one or two, and you are lying trying to cover up for Muhammad. And how we have a problem. And by the way, not only that, the verse number 31 it says that Allah He said that the Jews they took their rabbis as gods. Can you name for me one rabbi? He became a god. We don't change the topic. Who is the uh -huh. rabbi? Who is the rabbi? The Jews they took him as God. You can go and look it up. This Tuvia singer, he's talking, he's a rabbi. Uh, Abdul Tuvia Tuvia Singer. Then let me speak. To, okay. Why you don't let me speak? I, 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 I got you, but I get him busted. They'll go watch my videos about him. And let me ask you, to weave a singer, he said that they, they found the Uzair is the son of Allah. Are you sure? No, there was a group in in uh, Yemen. They, mm. they were Jewish. There mm. was a small group. They believed that he was a divine uh, son of God. 
and that's why the Prophet Muhammad didn't. Uh, uh, he he told them this is not true. That's why this uh, ayah come down. Want to get you busted? Why you don't open the link? Do you want to get you? Do you want me to get you busted? Here we go. This is the Tovia Sankar. I send you the link. Why you don't open it? I am open it. Everybody who is here. I am open. I, 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 I hold give on. You the link hold the on. I am open. Everybody it. open it and go okay. to three minutes. Uh, you will okay. see what he say. Okay, hold on, hold on. He's not a Muslim. He's a rabbi, Jewish rabbi. He's he's not a Muslim. So why is he telling us this? Well, thing? he's he, uh, okay. He is he is the person who said too that the Virgin Mary is a lie. Do you agree with him? No, I don't agree. Okay, so then shut up. Don't either you bring him because that means he's a liar. So either we accept no. him. Okay, so so do you accept him to be a person who said the truth, or he's a liar? Tell me the truth now. Do you that, accept him? That is his belief. No. Okay, his belief. So why the Quran says that? Don't the Jewish don't believe he's the Messiah. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Jewish they don't believe he's the Messiah, but he said that the Virgin Mary was not a virgin. This is a Roman old pagan belief. Do you agree with him? Yes, the Jews believe that she was raped by a Roman soldier. That's a, that's a stupid. No Jews, they say that. This is a lie. Secondly, you yes, are the one who said to me. You can read it. Okay, the all, all done. Okay, let, let, let me let me let me find you. Here we go. Roman soldier. All done. All done. Here we go. This is a video I made for this guy, who you call him Rabbi. Okay. Listen so and name let, was hold, Pandora, on, Lord, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, shut up, shut soldier. up, let us play the video. Don't you want to play the video? You yes, gave yes, me a video, okay? Let's play it, shut up, so we can play it. Yes, go to three minutes. Shut up, we don't have, we don't shut have to up. everything. You watch shut up, shut up, always he speak good about Muhammad. Muhammad is a wonderful man. Let us play. Uh, he attacked Christianity for sure because <laughs> who know every person. First of all, the questions they come to them. Uh, Let us see. I'm trying to find where he spoke. Jew. You know, he's a nine. That's the chap. See, he, he's a person who knows every verse on the Quran right away. Um, um, and he start like he, he's, he is a he's a very professional Jew. To nine, that's the chap. See, um, the was for him before, but they came that they just received the question, and the guy supposedly he knew what he's talking about. Listen carefully. That's an interesting question. Um, that comes from um, the Quran, it's chapter 9, it's the chapter. See, he is a person who knows every verse on the Quran, right away. Now, what, what I'm trying to explain here, guys, those people, they are false people. They, you know, he claimed that he just received a question, and he did not, he, like, he was surprised, and he hold his beard, and he says, ah, I think this was in Quran, chapter 9, but this guy, this is a question, they have it from before, and they prepared themselves for it. Listen. What he would say about Ozair. Um, um, and he start like he, he is a he's a very professional Jew. <laughs> he start like scratching his beast. Yeah, this is in chapter nine, verse number. Supposedly he knew the Quran by heart. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. After called repentance or it's a tabba. See? And um is the chapter nine, uh, surah nine, verse thirty. Even he know the verse number. Um and there it, it says that um the Jews say that um, that Ezra is the son of God. The Christians say that Allah, that uh, the Christians say that the Messiah is the son of God. They speak with their mouths, um, but they really what look, they look, have look, essentially. Look how professional this Jew is. He's trying to remember. They speak in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Um, 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 amazing actor. I mean, look, he can quote it word by word, but he cannot remember it still. You see, like he's reading it, but um, um, <laughs> is something they receive from the past and they're speaking absolutely nonsense, and uh, essentially, the um. And then and and God and Allah is against them because of what they're saying essentially is a perversion, something essentially like that. And it was so. Now, what's very intriguing about this passage in the Quran is that, um, of course, everybody who reads it is going, "Wait, I don't know any Jew who believes that 
Ezra, a great prophet, and incidentally is considered a prophet in Islam as well. First of all, it's not Ezra, it is Hosea. Uh, I don't know any Jew who believes that Ezra... Guys, Ezra is a prophet in Islam too. There's a prophet in Islam, his name is Ezra. Look at this poopoo. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> in Islam, there's a prophet. His name is Ezra. <laughs> Can you show me where it gets from? From Abdul, hmm. brother. I like your beard. I know you work in jewelry. I know you are making good money from the Muslims. But when you make a lie, I mean, okay, show us where, where in Islam the Quran teach that there's a prophet. His name is Ezra. I want to see the name, please. In Islam, there's a prophet, his name is Ezra. What a potato. Scratch your beard stronger. Maybe the information would be fixed. Ezra was the son of God. And we say the son of God, that means the son of God in a Greek sense, in a crystal, it, the way Christians believe that Jesus was the son of God, that he was divine. Okay? There's another term, son of God, to separate that that all Muslims believe that we're all children of God they don't, that's not the look at this lie he just say this guy is a, is a is a fraud he said the Muslims they believe that all of us we are children of God let me get let me shut him up this is not what the Quran is talking about this is number one number two the Muslim don't believe in that you're a liar here we go this is the Quran I cannot find chapter 5 verse number 18 I cannot find more hypocrite that this guy this guy he live in Indonesia and he do business with the Muslims he live between them so he's very hypocrite the Jews and the Christians say we are the ch Allah children's and his beloved ones say then why does he punish you with his sin so why you lie you say that the Christian the, the, the Muslims all of us we believe that we are children of God why you are a liar this is an idea totally rejected by Muslims. The Muslim believe that they are slave of Allah and they don't believe they are children of Allah. Corrupt false rabbi. Continue. Guys, Muslims believe that they are children of God. Muslims believe that they are children of God too. <laughs> true, true. This is true, absolutely, Abdul. All Muslims believe that they are children of God. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, what, what, what this guy he eat before he talk? I mean, he is the most hypocrite, corrupt person just because he is doing business with the Muslims in the Muslim country. He is willing to sell anything. The Muslim believe that there is a Jew doing business. Let us make it clear. Let us go. Literally, Ezra was a divine being. And and he, he the, Muhammad actually equates the, the Jews believing that Ezra is the son of God with Christians who believe that the Messiah, namely Jesus, Isa, is the Son of God, and then he just condemns it. Now, it's very intriguing is that there are no Jews that I've ever met in my life that believe that. See? And <laughs> the, the, the Islamic commentators, and there's an enormous amount of literature written on this passage by some, by ancient commentators of Islam who were confronted with the same question what 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 Jews are we talking about so the the commentators the Islamic commentators on this are absolutely brilliant, brilliant. Um, mm. many of them say that there was this Jew I, I think the name they guys even he remember the name he remember from the book you see how, how they act and I'm trying to explain to you here like um his name like trying he's to be like he is a scholar who knows everything he prepared for this topic five days ago and now like he's um i think his name um <laughs> Sorry, interpretation even the name I mean. so anyway as you see here even the scholars of the muslims they believe it was only one guy so how allah he says that the jews they say allah this they say Hosea, the son of allah the jews not one if it's only one and why it's even important to say his name why even important to mention his cult if it's just one person imagine we have millions of christians believe that jesus is god and then we mention one and we call him we call because of him the christians they say 
that is a fabrication because the Muslims when they try to explain they could not find an answer for this this is a mistake in the Quran there's no Jew believing a guy his name is Uzair and it's not Isra and Muhammad he said the Jews the second you say the Jews it's mean all the Jews not one not two not three not four if Allah, let us say there's a group of the Jews, then Allah, he made a mistake and the Muslims have to admit he should not say the Jews. If only a group of the Christian believe that Jesus is God, then he should say some of the Jews and some of the Christians. But as you see, he did not say that. He said the Jews, they say, they say. Change the translation. You see? In Arabic, it says, Waqalat al Yahud, not Waqala a Jew. Qalat, they said, the Jews. Change the translation so we can laugh. Uh, translation of uh, who is the translator here? Okay, let us go to a different one. Shakir, Shakur, Shuku Shuku. The Jews say, Uzair, you see here, you see the first translation here, the, the clear word appear. It's not Ezra. They try to fabricate, try to find a name close to this name. They could not find except Ezra. But nowhere in the Quran says Ezra. What Ezra? It says Uzair. And there's a huge difference between Uzair and Ezra. He is the son of Allah. The Jews, they say, it, the same as the Christian. Change the translator. I'm showing you all translations so you can you know you can you can see Shakir let us go to uh, uh, what uh, big it's the same same garbage you know but anyway obviously it's a mistake and you notice that this guy he decided not to talk about the fairy tale because you are the one who mentioned to me the Quran is not a fairy tale book but when we get him busted that shayateen they work for Allah to collect money for Allah because Suleiman is a prophet of Allah. Let us call him back and see why he's trying to run away. Yes, hello. Yes, Abdul. So you say you. Uh... This uh, Tuvia singer, he's, he, he's uh, making an act, huh? Well, yeah, obviously. Don't you think so? So, what, what is your uh, proof that he do that? Obviously, did you hear the? Did you? I mean, that the topic. The guy he is trying to remember the verse, but he can quote it word by word. Either you remember it or you don't remember it. Why you can have a, you can think and remember? Why not? no? There's no way that you don't remember it, but you remember it. Either you remember it because he is quoting even the quotation as it is, letter by letter, word by word. There's no way you don't remember it, and you need to squeeze your beard to remember it. But you know it all. So this this is obviously it's a it's a it's a scam. Sec, in the same time, this guy he said. That only one Jew believe in that according to the brilliant interpretation. Brilliant one. Did you hear him? Yes, this is the miracle. Okay, hold on. Okay, so who is the liar? Brilliant interpretation. Yeah. All of them agree that only one Jew. You told me that he said that there's a group in Yemen, they did that. So why he, that why do your scholars they say one Jew and he said the group as according to you? Which one of them is liar? But it can be a group or it can be one. We don't know. No, uh, we know. We know the Quran says the oh. Jews. The Quran says all the Jews, not one Jew. But the it Quran. Can be one particular no, it, it can cannot be... be one. It cannot be one because simply it says the Jews. The Quran. Mm -hmm. you, don't you Muslims you claim that the Quran is a powerful Arabic? Yes, so but if so if there is a guy that... now if there is a guy secondly this is a mistake because if there is a guy now believe that Rashad Khalifa is a prophet is he a Muslim or he's out of Islam 
No, he's out of Islam. Okay, so I can I say the Muslim believe Rashad Khalifa is a prophet, or I should say that he is not a Muslim. No, you 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 don't understand that this uh, is talking about a a, a a group, you know. My friend, where is the group? What the group? I'm asking you. If Rashad Khalifa, Rashad Khalifa, he have a group too. Rashad Khalifa is not one person. He have a group. Can I say that the Muslim believe Rashad Khalifa is a prophet or this is not a true? You said no. So here, if even if this is true, this is stupid because the right. Jews don't believe in that. This is the miracle. This is the proof that this is a uh, word. <laughs> How this is a miracle if we cannot find the Uzair in the old Bible. Can you find me the word, uh, uh, the guy, his name is Uzair, even in the Old Testament? I want to see it. There's no such a name. So the name is wrong. We cannot no, find anyone believing. The in the Bible are Can you find me? Okay, what do you mean corrupted? The name, the name is of the Jesus, Bible corrupted. Jesus, what is his name? Yeshua. Yeshua. Why you say Jesus? Because this is the when they translate, they could not make the same letters in Hebrew. There's letters in Hebrew. They don't exist in the in the Greek. Uh, how come? There's no like you. What say to me the name of your prophet? <laughs> say to me the name. Like say, to, say to me the name of your prophet. No, but you understand. No, no. Say to me the name of your name? prophet. Stop, stop, stop. St say to me the name of your prophet. Was was his name Jesus? Say to me the name of your prophet, please. Say to me the name of your prophet. Go ahead. His name is Muhammad. Sallallahu okay. Alayhi so why 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 the majority of the Muslims? Okay. His, his name, name is Mustafa. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. okay. Okay, so his name is so his name is Muhammad. So why in English you say Muhammad? <coughs> hmm? Why in English you say Muhammad, not Muhammad? Muhammad. But I cannot find I cannot find in the English anyone saying Muhammad. He says Muhammad. Which one is correct? What are you talking about? If we read the English translation, we see that the name of your prophet became Muhammad, not Muhammad. You're talking about Muhammad, or what are you talking about? Yeah, now? in English, the name is Muhammad. The French people mm -hmm. they say Muhammad. So is mm -hmm. that a, is that the same name, or you don't accept it no more? So the same in the Hebrew, those letters are exist in the Hebrew, or not exist in the Latin language. So they have to replace the letters. Here they go. You do the same. Muhammad is coming as Muhammad. There's nothing. It's called Muhammad. It is Muhammad. Now you said to me a second ago, his name is Muhammad, and his name is Ahmed. How he have many names and he, his name is Mustafa. Explain to us. How can Jesus has many names? His name He's is God. Jesus. His name is all the oh, 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 isn't it the Quran says that all the beautiful names belong to Allah? Yes. Okay. Is Muhammad Allah? No, he's not Allah. Okay. So God he have attribute. Why Muhammad he have many names? Explain to us. This is this is the name we gave him. Because he was the chosen one, he was the most. You praised. gave you gave him. You gave him. Praised. You are the one who gave him those names. No, not me. Who gave him those names? I don't know, but this is his names. Okay, his name is Muhammad or Ahmad. Why the Quran says once Muhammad, once he says Ahmad? Because this is the the, the name he have. Who is uh, the guy? He have two names, three names, four names in the same time. Who is Esau? Who is what? Esau. Esau? Oh. Uh, I don't know. You tell me who is Esau. Ah, uh, you don't know your religion so good. No, this I do not know. You tell me. For Jesus. Okay, so you are saying to me your prophet he copied Esau? No, his his uh, uh, name is Isa. Isa. So what Esau is? So wh why you don't call him Esau? <laughs> you see, he's copying the he's he's copying the Greek. You see how stupid you are. You used to prove to me that Muhammad is a false man. If we go in the Quran. We are, if we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah He called the name of the book of the Christian. What do you know the name? Which the name of the Christian book in the Quran? What is the name of the Christian book? The name of the Christian book, mm. you, you don't have a name, but it's called the uh, uh, people of the book. No, Ahl al -Kitab. you are being stupid now. This is in jail. You never heard the word in jail. Injil means uh, gospel. Okay, Injil, but isn't it this is a Greek word? It's not a Greek word. Really? Who is the donkey said that to you? Who said that is a Greek word? You can go right now and search. This is why you say Angelican Church. Do you know what Injil means? Injil in 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 is about the good news. The good news why Allah is using a Greek word in his holy Arabic Quran. 
if this is a Quran here we go do you see the word in jail if this is a Quran written in Arabic and Jesus was sent to the Jews why his book is in a Greek yes this is a big question why why you tell me why why Allah he chose the name which is the Greek name Allah he approved the, the Greek name why Allah he did not choose why Allah is not using the name which is the name which should be according to him this is the Greek name how you say the gospel in Arabic in jail we don't say we don't have Arabic we say in jail too we say in jail so your God don't have any word for gospel this is in jail. I told you in jail are you stupid or what this is, is not in Arabic this is not Arabic this is a Greek because we don't have the Bible in Arabic we have translation the Bible written in Hebrew in Aramaic in Greek and we are a Christian we use the word in jail you're a prophet is copying the, the, the word from the Christians he cannot be God he is copying what the Arab they are using the Arabic Christian they are using so here but but by by doing that he proved that the he is his false why because this is a Greek word and this is the name of the of the gospel in Greek so why Allah is quoting the Greek and the same and the same for Esau Esau Isa is Esau this is Esau Esau so Muhammad he is copying. he claimed that his God taught him but the fact your God is learning from the Greek about Christianity why didn't he choose the name Jesus there's no name Jesus you're crazy this is a translation later this is uh, why, this is why have you this is this is this is this is this is this is Jesus and coming from 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 the ASOS ASOS also or uh, uh, like in the in the in the in the Spanish they say uh Jesus I think Jesus right so depend on the language so this is coming all from the word Yeshua Yeshua or in Arabic we say Yeshua you're a prophet obviously he is a thief he is copying it from the Injil which is the Greek book Claiming that this is what God told him if your Allah is the one who gave him the name Then you need to explain to me why he did not quote the name in Hebrew if Jesus was sent to the Hebrew Why his book name is in, in Greek? Let me ask you. Let me ask you. What is the word for gospel in Arabic? I just told you we don't have one. Are you stupid or what? <laughs> We use Injil, we use Injil, we use the Greek word. We don't have one because we are not giving, we are not giving a book in Arabic. Don't be stupid. We are giving Injil. So we in our churches, we use the word Injil. You are being dumped now. So the word Injil is a Greek. Muhammad, he took it from us. Why Allah, he claimed, why you claim that this is from God, but yet he is calling the book which he sent to Jesus Injil. Why, why, why are you listen Abdul Abdul Arabic listen lying. listen Jesus was is in Arabic name for gospel no it's not it's a Greek word yes, it is. <laughs> are you lying? what is Torah, Torah, in which, which, in which language is Torah 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 is a Hebrew it's ah, not Arabic so now it become Hebrew yes it is Hebrew It's not an Arabic so now your God Allah he called the word in jail wrongly because he is quoting the if, if he you see the the, the, the stupid Muslims that don't understand that the second you quote the word in jail that's mean you approve the Greek version of the Bible as simple as that and that mean all the claim of Muslims that Jesus was sent to the Hebrew and Allah he gave him the book in Hebrew it's a lie because as you see the name which Allah he chose to name the book which he sent to Jesus he chose the Greek word your first God all, Allah is copying all, the Greek first of all there was no book in the time of Jesus when he was alive which was named Injil or gospel or whatever really second of all okay hold on no 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 we start with first of all no 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 we stop with first of all let me get you busted isn't it you it's it in front of us are you stupid or what how you say to me that he he was not having a book it's called in Jesus his time and the Quran says which is the Injil and let us go and see what Jesus received from the Quran here we go we go chapter 3 verse number 48 this one is about who yes can I answer mm. without you uh, stop me yeah this is about who yes. this verse yes and he will teach him the scripture and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel okay what is the word gospel here yes it's, it's it is in jail in jail thank you very much so who yes. is the one who hey, gave hey, wait. Can you wait? Uh, wait one second. Wait, uh -huh. wait. 
the the injil was the wahi it was the revelation which come to jesus in 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 uh, uh, word word form it was not in book form mm. so everything that jesus said okay hold on okay okay hold on hold on okay hold on 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 do you see here it says where you are limu al kitab it says in the front of us where you are limu al kitab ah ah what does the word kitab yes, mean but th this is uh, uh, how you say it um uh, like uh, it's it's in the tablets in the heaven that is only God uh, can see. You know, it was not. Ah, okay, guys, hold on. Here we arrive to Israfil. According to you Muslims, Allah have a book and He put it between the two eyes of the angel Israfil. Is that correct? It's a tablet which is in the heaven. I know, I know. Is it is it true that Allah He put the tablet between the eyes of the angel Israfil? Why are you talking about this, my friend? Why I am talking about this because you are saying to me that Allah is teaching her. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me, let me show you what you just said to me. Allah, he have a book. It is between the eyes of the angel and he is teaching Jesus from that book. Did you say that? It is written in the tablet. The no, Torah, problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, okay. So Allah have a book. Hold on. Allah has a book and he is teaching Jesus from that book, which is between the two eyes of the angel. Yes or no? I don't know what you're talking about. You just so say that. You just say to me. I said to you, "What is the kitab?" You said to me, "Allah have a book. He have a tablet. So Allah, he, he, books, he have a books, 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 books. What books? Books. It's the Injil. It's the Torah. It's the Sabur. It's the Furkan. Furkan is Quran. So a, a second ago, the... you see how stupid you are. A second ago, you told me that Injil is not a book. Now you're saying to me it's a book. But it's in the tablet form. Tablet in the heaven. <laughs> okay, what is the tablet? It's in the heaven. Where? In the heaven. Where? 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 Is it a true? Where, where? I, you, you Why you don't? To give what? You a, yes, yes. There's a location uh, be between, but be between the eyes of the angel Jibri, uh, uh, Israfil. Yes or no? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I cannot say yes or no. Okay. If I you want me to show, you want me to show you. Show me. Show me. Then we can talk. I don't know okay. what you're talking okay. about uh, between eyes and between legs. All right. Okay. Okay. Talking, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Al-Lawhul Mahfuz. Mahfuz, what does that mean? Protected. Yes. Hmm. By who? Protected in the heaven. In by by, the by who? By who? By Allah. Not by Allah. By Israfil. Okay, if you want Israfil. <laughs> Let us read together and laugh. All right. Tafsir al Quran al Azim. Okay. Let us see. Uh, uh, your your uh, stream have. Uh... What my stream is not coming. No, it's coming. It's fine. Is my stream coming, guys? All right. Here we go. Chapter 85, verse number 22, it says, We go to Ibn Kathir. 85, 22. 85, 22. What do you want to come with this? Hold uh, on, hold uh, on, hold on. You said to me, show me. I told you between the two eyes of an angel because that will prove to us that Allah is a, is a false God. Chapter, do you see the screen? Chapter 85, verse number 22. And this is Ibn Kathir, your favorite scholar. Okay. <clears throat> but you know why nobody want to debate with you yeah we know here we go read with me you know why okay read with me read with me okay you see guys here the muslim translation in english this is a proof again that muslims are a bunch of liars i open in english it's taken off. I cannot find it in English. If we go in Arabic, we will find the following. In uh, in English, they took off where it says that Allah He put between the two eyes of the angel Jibreel. This is the English one. I cannot find that. If we go to the Arabic Ibn Kathir, read carefully with me. It says, and you speak Arabic, right? No, I don't speak Arabic. Oh, I forgot. Okay, 
Read, guys. Whoever speak Arabic, read with me and laugh. Why the Muslim they lie? Because this is funny and stupid. And he says, uh, from, 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 etc., etc., he said, uh, 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 blah, 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 okay, and, and Muqatil ibn Jurayj and Mujahid and Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas say, said, in the in the front of the, uh, the the book it says la ilaha illallah only and his religion is islam and muhammad is his messenger in the top of the tablet galaxy uh, 10 it says shahada okay okay just to show you how the, the, the hypocrisy and they worship a man allah himself he wrote in his tablet which nobody can see there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger. That's it. Okay. And now we continue. And he says, and he وقال, واللوح لوح من درة بيضاء طوله ما بين السماء والأرض. And the, and the board, the tablet of Allah, is made from uh, 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 white uh, uh, pearl. And his uh, the uh, the distance or the size of it is the same size between what is between the earth and the heaven. And the distance, the width, the, the the width of it is between the same as between the east and the west, and the edge of it is covered by pearls and and and, and rubies, and uh, and, uh, and and the side of it, in one of the side, there is a a, a, a ruby made. A, a, a ruby. They did not lose me. Hold on. What is nur? Hold on. Lo uh, uh, light. Uh. Did the guys lose me? In the screen? Yes. Okay, yes, hold on. It's black. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Let, let me call you back. Hold on. I don't know why we lost it. <clears throat> Okay, I hope now it's coming, guys. Let me know if the screen is coming. Is my screen coming, guys? All right, good. Okay, we go back. Uh, I will call you back, uh, Abdul. Hold on. All right. Okay. So let us let, let's make it clear. In English, the Muslims they lie to us and they took it off from English. Do you have an idea why in English translation in the Biblical theater they did not put this? No. Why? Okay. Now let me ask you. You are the one who mentioned that to me, and it says that Allah He put the He put the tablet between the eyes of the the the, 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 the angel uh, Israfil, and it says La Yudanalahu bin Nadrofi. He is not allowed to look at it. Now I want to ask you. Why Allah, he have a tablet? Why? Yes. Uh, you can ask him when you uh, meet him. I don't know. Okay, why. what is why? the purpose of a tablet for us, you and me? When we have a tablet, we are a human being. We write in a tablet. Why we write in a tablet? It says right. here, it says here that Allah the hadith says that Allah the first thing he created it was the pen correct no okay so Allah he created the pen and he told the pen to write in the tablet correct I don't know about that okay well I can show you the reference no problem now you agree me and you that Allah he have a tablet according to Islam yes yes okay. it's a tablet in the heaven yes okay why he need the tablet you said you do not know I uh, for me uh, it, it says there that this is Lohan Mahfud, which means the protected tablet. Mm -hmm. Okay. The protected tablet, does it have the fight between Muhammad and his wives? Does it have what? Say the fight, again? the fight between Muhammad and his wives? Uh, everything in, uh, from the Quran is there, yes. Okay. What, uh, what is the benefit to Allah to have a tablet? And there he wrote the story of the fight of Muhammad and his wives. What that will do to Allah? 
why Allah he need to I mean what kind of God Allah he write in his book in the day of Monday 4 p.m. the Prophet he have a wife fighting with him and they have a strike and they start to throw in rocks and shoes at the windows and the news came to me and I decided to send inspiration with Jibreel and I told Jibreel you better behave you wives otherwise I will replace you and I will spank you and I am going to send all the Muslims to fight against you and not only that I will take the side of Muhammad and Jibreel too and not only that I will order all the believers to take arms against you and not only that all the angels they will take a side with you is that from God and written in the tablet of Allah of course okay so what uh, uh, are you saying to me that your God Allah is a stupid he's not stupid so why he is why this verse is made and written in the tablet give me the purpose of it because it's a ayah every ayah which is it's from okay him, what what make it ayah do you know what ayah mean i mean a miracle right yes okay every, every, what every is a miracle verse, about I mean, it let me tell you what is a miracle about it this is a two women an old woman speaking to the her neighbor and they are fighting about the husband hey you huh if you don't repent to allah huh allah will send uh, allah will take the side of the prophet and uh, not only that he will uh, Jibreel too will take his side okay and not only that all the believers in case you do not know and please stop biting your nails I just bent my nails yesterday okay stop doing that and if you don't stop going attacking the Prophet the angel Jibreel he take the side of of the Prophet and not only that all the believers and not only that all the angels all of this to a fight between a guy and his two wives Allah, yes. Allah with us, Allah and the angels and Jibreel and the believers and every person in this earth taking the side of the prophet against what? Against two women, they are five foot tall. Mm -hmm. Don't you see that this is a very silly to be in the tablet of Allah and even Allah to talk about it? No, why? You, you, you ha have you studied in lit liter literature? Yeah, I did. I did. This is silly because uh, are you saying to me your Allah is making literature? So Allah here is writing a story about a woman, two women. They are a threat to Muhammad to the point he needed the support of Allah and Jibreel. And every and 1.4 billion Muslims, they would take arms, taken side by side by Muhammad and on top of that all the angels. Look, so look at this five guys. We have we have here as you see in the screen we have a guy poor guy his name is Muhammad he have many wives two of them they have a, a two parties so Allah he sent the verse just for the women saying if you too turn in repentance to him your heart are indeed so inclined but if you back each other against him which means Muhammad truly Truly Allah is his protector and Jibreel and every righteous one among the people. Guys, my friend, if you are exist at that time, are you going to take your sword and stand next to Muhammad to fight his wives? I think I say this is a silly question, you know, because uh, you, you have no, uh, first of all, you have no respect when you speak about this. I don't respect Six for sure. About, yeah. Second of all, mm. you uh, you are thinking about uh, very very stupid things when you read this. Like what? What kind of God? He says, "Are you are you?" I, I'm asking you, are you going to take the side of Muhammad against his two two wives? Yes or no? Let me ask you. Don't ask me. Answer the question first. Are you going to take the side of Muhammad against his two wives? Muhammad, he have a fight with his two wives. He is in trouble. He need your help. So now every single Muslim in the world, he have to bear arm and go with the Prophet against two women. They are five foot tall. Are you going to do that as Allah he order or you will not? I will go against my, my family if it's for Muhammad. Thank you very much. But here we have a question. Guys, did you hear it? Now we have a question. What kind of God? What kind of God? He needed you to bear arm with the Prophet against two women if he is Allah. If Allah is with me and he is God, who could be against me? This is what the Bible says. If God is with me, who could be against me? So look what happened here. We have two women. Two women, they are five foot tall. One of them is a kid. And Allah and all the Muslims. And 
Jibreel and all the angels in the world in one side and two women in one side. Who is the stupid here in this story? This is more deeper than you think. You, you tell me, to... okay, tell me the deeper side of it. Maybe I'm ignorant. I'm listening. Guys, do you want to hear the deep the deep side of it? People, do you want to hear the deep side of it? This God, obviously, Muhammad, he used his God for his personal agenda. He have two wives, he did not know how to control them. So he said to himself, Okay, the best the best toy I use, the voodoo, is Allah. I will say to them, Allah, he said to the to you, behave or I will destroy you. And then he will they will get scared. He is using Allah. Otherwise, you tell me what why he needed Allah to the support against two wives. Yes, you 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 are meaning this is a meaningless uh, verse, huh? Astaghfirullah. It is. Why? What is the purpose of it? Why Allah? Okay, okay hold on. No, no. Allah, if Allah, no. if Allah is against them, why he need Jibreel? Why he need every righteous Muslim? Why he need all the angels? It's just a a fight between two women and the guy. He is the husband. This is not a fight between USA and America and and Russia and versus uh, Muhammad. It is two wives. You see the, the the line up we see here. This is enough to fight uh, uh, Soviet Union, maybe uh, USA. We are not talking about a war between uh, like a, an army, a great army. It's two women. Why he needed all those to support him? Have you heard about Samsung? Samsung. Yeah. What is that? Samsung. No, I did not hear it. No, what is that? Is that on the Quran? No, it's in your book, the Judge, Judge Book of Judge. Ah, Shamshon. Ah, okay, okay. What about him? Why you change the topic now? What, what is it? Uh, so, what, what are you? What are you trying this to? Is same, this is a. This is the same thing. No, say, no, no. No, that that one is about sin. The, the whole story there is about sin. If you disobey God, if you obey with a sin, then you are away from God. You lose your your power. You lose the support of God. Samson is not strong because of uh, uh, long hair samsung is a strong because he was with god the second he obeys sin he lost his power god is with me here we see that a guy he is fighting with two women and those two women they are so powerful to the point they scared the hell of muhammad to the point he needed the support of allah and every believer and jibreel and every single angel furthermore the angels will back him up in what what exactly will happen? Let us say that those women, they are not going to obey Muhammad. What those believers and the angels and Allah will do? Can you tell me? But didn't, didn't he kill thousand men with a... This, uh, this, is, uh, this, not, this is not... Uh, so what? God is with him. God is so with him. A, with a jaw from a donkey, he killed my, thousand my, men. My, my, my friend, my friend, my friend. God, he can do miracles and he can use any of us. If God, he want me to destroy a nation, he can. You know, he can. God. Sure. Our God is real. Here, here we have two Solomon? wives. We have two wives. They Why are, are you looking at Solomon. If you now say God can do everything, then you, Solomon can do also everything. No, 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 no. This is this is silly because what what the God can do anything? Why why Solomon in the flying carpet? I mean Solomon. You are a hypocrite now. No, no. Now I, why am I hypocrite? Hold on, hold on. You see, this is a fairy tale story. It's can we can find in the books? It's called the Legion of the Jews. So your prophet is copying from the legion of the Jews. The Jews believe in their legions, not in their... Suleiman, Suleiman is not God. He was a prophet, a messenger of God, okay. which would get, give him this power, like Jesus when he when he raised people from the but, dead. But you are saying to me that evil. Allah... But I, you are saying to me that Allah, he gave Suleiman an evil power. He became an evil because his employee, employee, his employee are the devils. No, but they, they obeyed him. Because okay, that, that's what friend. I was saying. The so that, that, that okay, thank you very much. The, the devil obey him to do what? To do what exactly? To do this uh, service which he what's wanted. Her, what's her, okay, so thank you, so guys. Did you hear it? The one who serves Suleiman in Islam is Shaitan. In that, that was the jinn. No, it was not a jinn. Don't lie. Again, it's a Shaitan. Oh. Don't who tell gave, me who, who gave who gave the power to Jesus? This is don't change the topic. You keep jumping like a no, monkey no, from Samson to to, to to etc. You see, now you go back to zero because you are trying to escape this. We want to go to back. Here we go. We go back. It was Shaitan. Don't lie. It was Allah. He ordered Allah. He ordered the Shaitan to obey uh, 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 your 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 Suleiman, the the version of Suleiman, not our Suleiman. Read it. 
Here we go. But if we go in the Quran, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. In your Bible, you are okay, saying okay. he was you, an idol worshiper. You see, according to you, he was an idol worshiper. You want to show no. you? Do you want to show you? Quran is Quran is testifying he was not the idol worshiper. My okay, who who who, 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 is, the, who is the who is the one was idol worshiper? It was not Solomon according to your Bible. Who is the one who is the one who is the one was idol who is the one was idol worshiper? He had thousand concubines according to How, the Bible. Don't, you, you are jumping like a monkey. Don't make me hang up on you. Who is the one was an idol worshiper? According to your Bible, Solomon, but the, the show me the verse. Show the me the, show me the verse that says that Suleiman he is a is an idol worshiper, and I have a news for you. Ah, you 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 have not read? No, you show me no problem, and I will show you something too. What does idol mean? He have a statues. Yes, like he worship other beside God. Hmm. You can read in First King, First hmm. King eleven. Okay, read for us. Go ahead. Hmm? Read for us. Uh, it says that the Solo the, then Solomon built a illegal worship site on the hill east of Jerusalem. Hmm. And. And what, what does that mean? Why does you tell me? Uh, do it, or do it. Oh, okay, oh, hold on. You see, I mean, the Muslims are silly. When you make a claim, explain to us. Let us see. We want to learn from you. Where it says yes, that? I, where, where it says I, what you are saying? You said you said he worship idols. Where it says that? In the first King eleven, you can read that. Where? 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 What verse? Where it says that? You can read here. Uh, do you want, uh, do you, do you, do you want me to help you? Do you need my help? Yes, Solomon. Uh, yes, to read. Okay, the, as I say in in King, verse number five, that God. First, hold on, hold on. If we go, if we go, if, if you can, you can read from verse number one if you want. Doesn't mm. say that in if you go read from verse number of uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does it say there that God he uh, he was uh, angry from Suleiman because he was away from the God of Israel? Uh, because he worshipped idols. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When when so that is not true. hold that, on, hold on. We, saying it's not true. No, here we go. Quran says true. And the Quran no, saying Quran, that Allah, Quran, hold on, no, no, the Quran saying that it's right. Allah, He is the one who made him do that. So in the Bible, it's condemning Suleiman being away from God, while your God, He is saying, Yes, we are the one who made him do that. It was your God, Allah, who made Suleiman build a synagogue with statues. Read with me and love, my friend. Here we go. Quran protected him from this allegation. No, that's a lie, my friend. Here we go. This is your Quran. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. So while the Bible condemn, you see, in, in the Bible, we, we believe that prophet they commit sin. So here we see that the God of Islam is the one who is teaching his prophet to be pagans. For us today, man, and even David, they commit sin. And God, but he condemned their behavior. And this is the same book you are reading for me from. But you, this, hold on, you in your Quran, chapter 34, verse number 13, it says that Allah, he gave Suleiman the power. I ask you why Allah, he gave Suleiman the power. You said because Allah, he wanna give that. Okay, what Suleiman, he ordered them? He ordered them to build, to build synagogue with the statues. Do you see it? Uh... Yes. Okay. What kind of God he orders for a man to build a statue? I asked you, what is idols? You said to me, statues. You agree that statues. Why Allah is ordering Suleiman to build the statues in his synagogue? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are the one who said to me in your book it says this in my book it condemn any prophet anyone who in our book or the book it says it clearly that no man no good no, no good but God only God is good that is the Messiah all is a sinner and they need the mercy of the Lord the forgiveness of the Lord so Suleiman David Musa as anyone even Peter even Paul even everybody all everybody there's no human being in the top of this earth is not a sinner and he need the forgiveness of God and Suleiman is no better David is no better so the same chapter you quote for me condemning the behavior of Suleiman but your Quran saying that Allah is the one who made Suleiman build the statues and Allah he gave him the power so he can do that and he did give him the power to control the shaitan and who is the one who is building the statues for him the shaitan is that true it's the jinns you have to understand stop it lying it doesn't say the jinn stop being a liar it says shayateen why you are a liar does it yes, say oh, mean, let me shayateen. ask okay does it say the word shayateen or it says the word jinn okay if you want shayateen no, no it's not up to me it's not up to me or to you don't say if you want say see it as it is is it shaitan or it is it says genie it says shaitan so stop lying shayateen okay so allah he gave suleiman power they are jinn but they are the evil one they are the shaitan they are satan okay yes. thank you okay so the evil shaitan hold on so the evil shaitan is helping suleiman to build idols why and but allah is was, the one there was there was obeying there was there was obeying him he was a thank you very much man. thank you very much but he was given this by allah and allah is a proud but about it allah evil. allah is a proud that suleiman is building statues why allah is a proud about that no he was you you don't understand this it's not about that he he worshiped the statues my friend why uh, you, i said to you if you have a status this is idol you said what? no you said yes if if we if are you muslims allowed to have statues but it continue answer are you muslims allowed to have statues no why you don't continue read we'll continue read read here we go who is stopping yes. you read, read what yes read what read it read it read it read it here we go read it who's holding you read it what read what Go to 14. Okay, go to 14. Here we go. What do you want? Uh, go to 14. Go down, man. Okay, we are on 14. And what? Uh, and, and when we decree death for him, uh, nothing showed his death to them save a creeping creature of the earth which gnawed away his staff. And when he felt the jinn so clearly, how if they had known the unseen, they would not have continued in this peace. <laughs> do you want to see what this is about you are the one yes. who said to me that you don't believe in fairy tales if I show you you are the one who asked me to go to 14 you will regret that in a second do you want to show you the interpretation this is this is this show this show that the jinn they don't know the unseen only Allah knows my friend unseen. this is not about the unseen this is about being your God being a fairy tale stupid teller you want me to show oh, you the interpretation about the unseen. okay hold on here we go guys he is the one who asked me he is the one who forced me to go to 14 in a second he will regret Chapter 34, verse number 14. Hold I on. I never regret the, the book is perfect. Okay, oh, okay, 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 perfect. Okay, let us see. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Chapter 34, verse number 14. Perfect. Very perfect. I mean, we have to see how perfect it is. All right. It says here that this man. Hmm, Let us go. Let us go actually to Ibn Kathir in English first. Did you say that uh, Jesus is not hold from this on, world? Hold on, hold on. Yes, he is not. And you, you said to me you will believe in that, and you, 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 you said yes, I do, and then you swallow your tongue because you are a coward. But if he's not from this world, just wait. Let me ask you: How can he be? He said, hungry? he said, I am from above. But how can he be hungry? Because he is in the flesh of a human being. Ah, then he's he's from this world. Mm, ah, that to prove that he is from this world. Ah, but because uh, this is the only thing proved that he is from this world. Ah, when you go, when you okay. Go, let me ask you. Uh, the, let, let me let me ask you. Do Allah forget? When he go to the do, tree, do Allah forget? Do Allah victory? do Allah forget? Don't change topic, you coward donkey. You keep jumping like a like a monkey. Do Allah forget? Do Allah forget? <laughs> do Allah forget? Yes or no? What what do you mean forget? Do Allah forget? Yes or no? 
What do you mean with forget? Forget, forget. Mean? I forget, you forget. I forget your name. No, he never forget. Okay, if I show you from the Quran that Allah, he forget. He but, never forget. He's Allah. He can okay. never forget. Okay, aren't you the one who said to me that Allah, he have a tablet? He have a tablet, yes. Okay. Why he have a tablet? Because he forget. No, it's not about. So why? He, so why he have a? Can... So why he have a? Why he have a? We have. A, why he have a tablet? Then tell us. Plus, get the, the, the wisdom. Allah don't forget. Why he have a tablet? Because you you can ask him when you see him. No, ah, no so you know you're just a kid. Get lost. Get lost. Don't call me again. Go, each time I get you in the corner, you say to me, you can ask me when you I see him. I will never see him. He's false. What a stupid donkey. When the king Suleiman he died. And you are quoting me to read for you from chapter 34 14. Guys, you will not believe what you will see in the front of you. The story in the front of you is a proof that Muhammad is nothing but a liar. Allah tells us how Suleiman peace be upon him and how Allah canceled his death from the jinn who were subjugated to him due to hand hard labor he reminded laying on his stick which was his staff as Ibn Abbas may Allah bless him said so look what happened Suleiman he died he's dead now but nobody noticed that he is dead why? Because he's standing and he's holding his stake. <laughs> the genies, Allah did not let them notice that he is dead. Huh? And, and the guy, he said to me, the Quran is not a book of fairy tale stories. How they notice later that Suleiman is dead? Anyone not knows? Read carefully. Little insect, the termite, they start eating his stake. And when the termite they eat, they ate his stake, his stake collapsed. And then he fell down. True story, brother. Nothing informed them, the genie, of his death, except a little worm of the earth, which kept slowly gnawing away his stake. What the heck? And he is the one he said to me go go to 14 go to 14 go go to 14 why you are hiding 14 huh why you are hiding 14 show us show us 14 no 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 i want to see 14 it was like a kid holding me from my pant saying show me show me 14 i want 14 here we go this is 14. so the man he was dead standing for a long time and his ministers his wives and the genie and the shayateen they could not recognize that he is dead why because he's holding his stick and how they notice that he is dead because the ugly termite they were eating his steak otherwise Allah they will not let him know <laughs> you notice how the Muslims they always play games they fly left and right like you try to focus on a topic we go left we go right he switch right away in a second go here go there go there you find yourself speaking about everything until now, we could not find one Muslims to prove to us Allah is God. Look at this. He caught for me from the Old Testament that Suleiman, he, he, you know, he did sin. Yes, the Old Testament says Suleiman, David, everybody commits sin. Me and you, everybody. The Bible says it clearly. No man is good but God. And that is the Messiah. That's why when a person, he came to the Messiah, he said to him, you are good. Jesus said to him, why you call me good? Only God is good. And he said, I am the good shepherd. And he said, who can of you commit me of sin or prove me a sinner? Here we see that the Quran is nothing but a bunch of fairy tale stories. The guy, he died and because he's holding a stick in his hand, nobody noticed. Who in, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? At least says because Allah, he made him look like this. I will understand. No problem. God can't do anything. But because he's holding a stick, nobody noticed. Guys, do you, are you following me? At least if the verse saying that, Allah, he made him stand. It doesn't say that. It says because he was holding his stick, nobody noticed. 
Allah tell us oh, by the way this is the English translation which is a fiction translation it's not a true the Arabic is a lot more funny they they never buy Ibn Kathir translation in English 90% of the Arabic text is deleted period so Allah tell us Suleiman peace be upon him died and how Allah canceled his death from the jinn which means Allah he did not make the jinn notice that he's dead how who were subjugated to him due to hard labor or oh, oh, hard labor the jinn is shaitan he reminded leaning on his stick the guy is dead <laughs> oh boy uh the guy is dead, but yet he is still standing and nobody noticed he is dead. Okay, let, let, let us go with this silly, stupid verse in the Quran. Let us say for the sake of argument, I die and I am holding a stick and suddenly I became like a, a, a piece of wood and I'm not feeling down. Is that what makes you alive? Is it people will see that your eye is not moving, you are not breathing, you get cold, you will color a change. I mean, how stupid this story is. So this guy, he was, some stories he was there for six months, some story they say he was there for 40 days. You know, the band in the, in the, in the, in the liar who was reporting the story. So let us say 40 days. They like the number 40, Alibaba and the 40 uh, thief. So I am dead for 40 days and my wives and my ministers and my servants and my soldiers, they come enter to me and they speak to me, I don't answer. And yet nobody notice I am dead. Have you ever heard of a stupid book more than this? Hmm? Yeah, the Quran says that actually, the enemy Kathir is just making it to you in English in details. Yeah, this is the Quran. Nothing made them uh, know that he is dead except that the, the, the termite. Eating his uh, stick, and when he fell down, the genie they notice, which the shaitan, that oh, we do not know the unseen, we thought he is alive. I mean, look how silly, how silly, stupid. And for sure, this is a true story, and this is a proof that Allah is a true God. And from now on, I will never go anywhere unless I have a stick in my hand. Actually, you know what. I am planning always to go live in YouTube with my stick because if I keep the stick in my hand, none of you will notice that I am dead and my broadcast will stay live. I will open the camera, I will hold the stick, and I will die. And you, because you are not smart at all, there is no way you will know that this guy is dead because he is standing holding the stick. Isn't it obvious that this is a true story? And what make it more funny that this guy was insisting he want me to go to verse number 14. Did you notice that? Guys, did you notice? He is the one who pushed me to go there. Go, go to 14, go to 14. No, 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 why you are hiding it? Why you are hiding it? Look, look, why you are hiding it? He's, he's accusing me that I am the one is hiding it. Why you are hiding it? For 4,000 years, 4,000 years, not a single rabbi is, who is instructed to worship one God, he broke the command of his God for 4,000 years. Suleiman flying carpet, Suleiman die standing on his stake. Uh, Suleiman, uh, uh, he went all the way to Yemen and he found a woman, she have no hair in her legs. Uh, and then the shaitan, they made her her legs look hairy, so Suleiman will not like her. I mean, true stories. And by the way, this woman, the, the queen of Sheba, which is mentioned in the Bible, uh, anyone knows what this woman is? Who knows? Who knows? Anyone knows? According to Muslims, the queen of Yemen, the queen of Sheba, Balqis. She was half a human, half genie. Uh huh. Her father is a human. His mother, his, her mother is a genie. And his father, the story. If you have my books, actually, you will you will read the stories. 
if anyone remember in which way I have it in my book which page please let me know we can mention it uh, according to the Muslim stories that the king uh, this the father of uh, Balqis he was working for a king and this king he liked to have sex with married women guys do you have my book uh, sex and Allah how many of you have in or deception of Allah and Quran and science full of stories like this you will not believe it just get them so this guy he have uh, he, he work as a minister for the king and his king he is a bad person he forced his ministers that to send his wives to sleep with him so this guy he was walking in the in the market and an old man he said to him are you married he said no I'm like Christian Prince so he said to him why you don't marry he said I cannot because my king always he's a bad person if I get married he will force me to send my wife to him to sleep with her I would never accept that the man he said to him I will marry you to my daughter and he cannot do that with you the, the father of Balqis or Sheba he said to him why he cannot he said because my daughter is a witch and she is not a human she is a genie the guy he went to the house of this man and he married this genie by the way this is a true story and when they have sex with this genie they have a daughter her name is Balqis and this is the one the Quran mentioned her name when the king he learned that he married a woman and she is so beautiful because she is a genie like come on Allah uh, uh, sorry the, the king he order he ordered the man to bring his wife to him as usual anyone who get married he refused so the the king he killed the husband he captured him he put him in jail and he killed him some stories say that jail, jail him only and then he went to her palace and he surrounded the palace with her with his army and he said I want to have sex with you I'm horny and the genie wife she said to him hmm okay but isn't it funny that you are bringing all this army to have sex with me aren't you man enough to enter along and then this guy the king he entered the palace alone he ordered his men to wait outside and when he entered inside this woman she took off her shoes and this is why now I want all men I want all men to be careful from shoes she took off her shoes and she cut his head with her shoe And then she took the head of the king and she threw it out of the palace. And then when the soldiers, they saw this, all of them, they consider her their queen and she became a queen. And this is a true story. And this is why I warn you. And if there is a Muslim want to say to me, you are lying, he could challenge me. Challenge me. Show me. Silence me. So, this is why I say to all men, don't ever go out with the women, like if your wife, your fiance, whoever. Even if it's your sister, you never know. You make her angry, they use their shoes, and their, use, their shoes is very dangerous. She hit him with the shoe, and she cut his head, and she grabbed him from his hair, and she threw the head outside. This is why, my friends, I will never, the second I see a woman, I don't even get close to her. I say, take off your shoes and throw them away. That's it. I mean, I cannot risk my neck, my friend. Don't, don't ever, don't ever think women, they are, nope, don't play games with women. They, shoes. That's why they have high heels. All right? How many victims did die because of shoes of women? I mean, come on, we have to be honest here. This must be a true story. 
high heels it's like a nail which she, she hit you in your head you, you have a hole <laughs> and if you say to me it's not true true story the Muslims will be upset so please show respect Anyone? And if there's any Muslim he want to say to me, I'm lying, please feel free to say that. I'm willing to show you that this is a truth according to your books. And look, guys, I just found this in a, in a fatwa website. This is the Muslims are answering some atheist supposedly in a fatwa chapter of an naml and then verse number 22 23 chapter of an naml is verse number chapter number 27 it says here it's been said that one of her parents he was a genie and then Ibn al-Arabi he said the atheist this is from the old days not now atheist like long time ago centuries and centuries ago they said that this is stupid and silly they did not believe it and he said genie they don't eat they don't have kids and they are liars because this is true and even having sex with them is possible by logic <laughs> and look and al qurtubi said hadith muslim fi annahum yaakulun that qurtubi he confirmed from the sahih muslim that the genie they eat absolutely and even in sahih bukhari and then Al Qurtubi he mentioned that if in them is even mentioned in the Quran in chapter of Al Isra, chapter 17, and be partner with them by their money and their children's offspring. And then he said, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> let me see if I can find this hadith in English hold on hold on let me see no they don't translate it to English strange or oh, why it should be anyway uh stories and fictions and garbage garbage in garbage out it's a collection of stupidity and you know and they say to me that allah is god i mean who in the world you see i i am a believer i believe that god is able to do everything but this but this religion is like uh, a gum somebody he have a gum stuck in his shoe and this gum is big and whatever he go something stuck with it and after he walked for 20 years he took the gum and he put it in a book and he called it Quran with whatever stuck with it from all the fairy tale stories around him wherever he walk any Muslim want to say we are lying Anyone? How many of you, those who are watching, did they watch the debate we have two days ago with Sheikh Abdul Wadud? Guys, do you notice how easier it is to debate with, this, with, with those who they are a scholar from debating kids? Because kids, they play games, they have, they lie, like Mimi Hijab. Uh, those, they are kids, they, they don't have respect for their own value and they, they, they are willing to do anything because they will lose nothing anyway. Nobody knows who they are. But when you are a sheikh and you are known, you have to be careful about what you say. That's why you see how easy it is to destroy Islam speaking to a scholar. And in the same time, when you debate a Muslim kid, is like chasing a ghost. They try to sneak from between your hands. Do we have any Abdul?
No, no, all of them they play taqiyya. Even the Sheikh Ab uh, Abdul Wadud, the one we 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 spoke to last time, he played taqiyya. Guys, did you notice how he played taqiyya? Who remember? Do you remember when he played taqiyya? He did. He did big time. He was not honest too, but he was careful with his taqiyya. Those kids, they say anything. You know what I mean? There, there is, there is, there are the Muslims normally. They say anything, anything, because who care what they are saying? Nobody know them. I mean, they just deny. He himself, he played taqiyya too, big time. But all what he did, he tried to play it in different way. Oh, brother, you have many questions, brother. Oh, brother, you have many questions. We will answer you, brother. What, brother? You have a questions. We'll answer you. And you answer me. So taqiyya was all over. And each time we mention something, he jump and he change the topic, and he have no answer. Uh, like if you remember at the end, let me play play the the, the last part at the end, and see how how the deception was like uh, all over the place. Allah, he said to Adam, "Hey, okay, Adam, tell them the names." And then Adam started reciting zucchini, potato, tomato, etc. And this is how Allah He proved that He is all knowledgeable and the angels are wrong. So the whole story is about a fight between Allah and the angels. So what the poor shaitan have to do with this? And then Allah He proved to them that because He named the zucchini and the tomato and the potato the names, supposedly that would mean His God, which is very silly. Because if I have a dog and I call him Susu and I ask you what is the name of my dog and you say to not to me I do not know. That does not mean I'm God. I'm the one who gave him the name. What about we do with vice versa, the opposite way? What about the angel? He asked them, okay, name it, give it names, and don't tell me the names, and I will tell you the names, which means I know the unseen. So your God here is fabricating a story, Muhammad, and he is coming with a funny story. He, The angels fighting with Allah, and then he expected the Iblis, and then Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam because they say that he would do mischiefment, and then Allah, he says to Adam, the, to Iblis, why you did not bow down? This is the most silly, funny story ever I heard in my life. Go ahead. Okay, brother. So you, as you know that uh, Iblis was, Iblis, his name at that time was Azazil. 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 You know okay. about it? I know, I know about it. This is your prophet. He took it from the, from the Legion of the Jews. Okay. And, and the Legion of the Jews, if you go to the book, it's called the Book of Enoch, which is a false book. You will see that there's 21 angels. One of them is Azazil, Azazil and, and Muhammad is copying from the Jews. No problem. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. And by the way, where do you get this name from? Where it says that his name at that time, it was Azazil. Where do you get this name uh, from? Brother, first, first you have, I have to clarify your, your misunderstanding. Mm, why? Okay. Listen first. Listen, you are saying, first, if God created you, mm. Okay, God created you and God tells, gives you an order to do, the, do this. Would you do it or not? If God created me and ordered me to do that? To do something. Well, depend like if, I am, if I'm a... If I'm a, if I'm a told you to go and pick up that stone or pick up that tree, take out that tree, pick, pick that tree, mm. would you do it or not? It depend because if, I am a, if I'm a believer, I will do it. If not, I will not. Yeah, that's what that's, that's thank you so much for that. So if you are a believer, you would do it. If mm. you're a believer in God, let's say Jesus, Jesus is the upon him, he came today, he told you mm. that um Mr. Christian, mm. let's let's go and kiss this stone or kiss this tree. Would you do it or not? Okay, did did Allah did Allah say to Muhammad kiss a stone? You you are the one who told me that the Arab this, this, I'm just giving an example. My so. friend, you are the one who said to me that the Arab before Muhammad used to kiss the stone. So you're a prophet kissing the, the same as the Arab pagan Arab they kiss the stone. He's worshiping the same God. Correct? Wait a minute, brother. So you, you first something uh, my 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 example was to, to you was mm. that if Jesus comes today and tells you to prostrate to this tree, mm. would you prostrate or not? If Jesus he told me to a tree? He told you a tree. No, I will leave Christianity. This is an example. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, if he, if he said that to me, worship a tree, to bow down to a tree, I will leave Christianity. So why would you leave Christianity if you believe because in that, that, Because God. he cannot be God. He cannot be God then because he is worship, asking me to bow down to idols. This is not going to be from he's God. Try, he's trying to check you if you're obeying him or not. No, no, my friend. God will not it, 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 it test me by giving me uh, uh, order to do sin. This is false uh, argument. 
So you are saying to me that your God Allah, your God Allah, He wanted to prove that He is God. He ordered you to kiss a stone. That means He's a He's a Satan. You know, isn't it you? Is it you know? It's like okay. Is, isn't it you? My topic to you something. I'm I'm staying somewhere else. You're going somewhere else. I'm telling you that if Jesus came today and tell you to prostrate to a tree, try to check if you are. If you are obeying him or not, no, but you said I will not, not. I will not. I will not obey him because that means he is the Dajjal. He is the false Messiah. He is maybe Muhammad. There is no way Jesus will order me to uh, to okay. go. To... I have another question from you. Go, give me that. Try, try you something, something better. I mean, a man comes uh, comes comes down to you. Hmm. In one hand, he has he has Zella. In the second hand, he has fire. Hmm. And this guy, he can he can kill, and he will bring the person back to life. Hmm. This guy can make a person poor and rich, hmm. and this guy claims to be Jesus. Would you believe him? No, because the Lord He said to me, "Test the spirit." I have to examine it. So if He teach me false teaching, we don't only go only because somebody, the Messiah, He said that there is false prophet and false teachers will come after me, and even He says, "Not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do is well." And then they said to him. Well, isn't it us? We did cast demon and we did miracle in your name. So people, they will come and they make miracles, but they, they can be false using the name of God. So my friend, that is not the proof that this is Jesus. The proof is his ethic, his teaching, examine the spirit. The spirit of God is holy. Your God cannot be holy. And you are the one who just a second ago, you said to me that the black stone was sent from heaven. What kind of God will teach that there's a stone sent from heaven and that, what, that make it holy? By the way, you are wrong about that. Because according to your Islamic books, the black stone became black. It's it only because of sin. According to your Islamic books, the black stone because be, became black because women, they used to touch their vagina with their blood when they have period, and they place their hand inside the stone. And that is the sin, how we, it make it. You know, because women at that time, they believe if she is not getting pregnant, obviously Allah, Baal, is upset and he is not making her bread net so what she do she go around the stones around the kaaba naked men and women they go naked and you know that that the arab before muhammad even in the time of muhammad used to go naked around the kaaba and then the women she placed her hand in her vagina and she put it in the wall and in, in, in the in the black stone you you are explaining the arab before Yes, but, uh, but 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 this is what Muhammad he called it from the Arab. You said to me that Allah he said that this is a black stone from heaven. But you know you 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 are trying to ignore what you Muslim says. This is not even the Arab what they say. That, uh, this is what the Muslims believe. Let me show you, my friend. Here we go. This is okay. Tafsir al Hawi. You can you can see the screen, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I see okay. That screen. okay. Tafsir al Hawi. It says that your Imam saying. And Gabriel, he brought the, the black stone from the from the sky. And it says that uh, uh, Abu Qubais, the, there's a mount next to Mecca. I don't know if you've been there before. Next to it, a small mount, it's called Abu Qubais. The Muslim believe that Abu Qubais hold the black stone inside his belly during the, 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 the flood of Noah to save it from being drifted by the flood because the flood of Noah covered all the earth, including the Kaaba. And then when the flood is over, so the black stone came over. And then it was hiding during the, the flood of Noah, and it was a, a white pearl from heaven. And when the blood of the women from period touch it, during the pre-Islamic of ignorance, it became a black. Am I lying, my friend? Or this is your books? Okay, brother. If you know the history before before Islam came, the people what they do to it, just before Islam, you get it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is a, this is a stone inherited from the pagan. And you so you see, guys, he confirmed that yes, this is what the Arab they used to do. And here we have to have a question: What is the belief the Arab used to believe to the point make them do such a thing? Go and naked around the Kaaba, men and women. Women, they are touching their vagina when they have their blood and placing their hand in the front of the black stone inside it. And then the men come after that and they insert their penis there. That is a sexual stone. And this is why the stone look like a vagina. Muhammad is nothing but a pagan person who copied and approved what people before him they used to believe in. You see, in the beginning of Islam, Muhammad was praying in the word, the word uh, Jerusalem. 
Why? Because he was trying to convince the Jews and the Christians that he is one of them. When the Jews and the Christian did not believe in him, he exchanged the direction and he decided to go back to his old cult, which is the Kaaba. You notice? Why Muhammad for many, many years was praying in the direction of the of Jerusalem? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? And you see here your Sheikh, he agree that the Arab, yes, they used to do that. The women, they place their hand in their vagina, they touch it with the blood, they put it inside the black stone. Why? Because they are hoping that because God, obviously, he cursed them, that's why they are not getting bread in it. So the women should do that because the black stone presents the God of the fertility. They want to get fertilized. And he agreed. But all what he's saying, this is what the Arab before used to believe. Who care? Muhammad, why he accept the stone, the same stone? How a stone you claim that this is stone sent by Allah became in such a position where people touching it with the blood. Muhammad he adopted the same as he did with as Safa al Marwa. Isn't it as Safa al Marwa? It was a practice of the pagan before Islam. And then the Muslims they refused to practice. And then Muhammad he said to them, Don't you know that Allah He just gave me a verse saying that as Safa al Marwa is from the, the, the ritual of Allah? How in the world the Safa al Marwa is from the ritual of Allah? From, from Allah because if you know the, the mother of Ismail. When she put her baby on the floor and she was looking for water and because the baby was crying and she had no food, no milk in her chest. Mm. So she would go to one mount and look for water and then walk to the and walk to the other <laughs> mount and look for water okay. to see if anyone any caravan is coming. Mm. Okay, my friend, is that to make it holy? I mean, this is the most silly answer ever I can hear with my respect to you. So if a woman her name is Hajar, she go between two mount that make it anyway. This is how silly this cult, it's a collection of stupidity, and as you see, not even a single Muslim, he can prove us wrong. I want people to uh, watch this debate, which is called Sheikh Abdul Wadud, Destroyed Christian Prince, and I will give you the link, so you guys, you can go there, okay? And actually, this is why I did not make a video yesterday, because I know when I make a video, people watch the last one, they forget about the one before. That's why you will notice that I might even hide this video, so to be sure that uh, everybody went there and watched it. Learn how the Muslims, they think. Learn how Muslims, they lie. Learn how the Muslims, it doesn't matter if they are big or small. This guy is a sheikh. Yet all of them, they play, they play the same game, but you will notice the game standard is different. This, by this person he have to be careful how he lie the rest of Muslims they lie with no shame because they are no one this is the only difference between them otherwise all of them they lie if you remember at the end when I asked him about Aisha what he said you remember <laughs> go watch it go watch it and laugh uh, and this is why the smart Muslim, they don't even, the one who claim that they have a career, uh, they are smart. They don't dare to destroy their career and debate me. Otherwise, he will go, I'm here, I'm live. Just make a call. I don't even know who's calling me. All those who we debate them, I encourage them, even if they are Muslims, to copy my videos and post it in your channel if you are proud about it. You know what I mean? Any Muslim, he called me, and he think he was he did go he did he did a good job. Please download the video of your conversation with me, and I want you to spread it all over, and let everybody laugh, either at you or at your God. Right? Yeah, he said to me he want to do the prayer of Aisha, but Aisha uh, prayer is gone two hours ago. See, he was fabricating. Even Muslims are liars. I mean, he is a sheikh, yet he was saying he want to pray Aisha. And right away, I got, I went to uh, to Google to check. I mean, how how he want to pray the Aisha now? I mean, it's too late. I check, and it's over. It, it was just an excuse, you know, to uh, to flee. 
anyway I want to say thank you for everybody for being here and uh, if you like to read more about the cult of Islam feel free to read my books you can search always for my books from Amazon amazon.com Germany France uh, we have my books in many languages and uh, uh, I hope by the coming week we will have the book which is in Malay language published too which is the translation for the deception of Allah so people who speak uh, Malay language uh, they can have it so I want to say thank you for being here guys may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is false proven every day by the help of the Lord and his knowledge thank you very much take care